I had not yet started talking, but thank you for looking out for me, June. Just in case, because I have been known to do that. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody. Wait, let me make sure I press the actual right button to unmute my mic, because that would be really awkward. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> Welcome to the Price of Perfection, one and all. Where's Argon? He's hiding. There he is. Okay, good. I know you can hear me now. <laughs> Welcome back to the only Stardew Valley challenge. Well, I'm not going to say the only one, but the uh, one of the, one of the Stardew Valley challenges that is officially taken longer than the entire runtime of all 12 seasons of The Big Bang Theory. Exclamation point playtime. Happy to have you all here. Seen some familiar faces. See you, Gail, Karita, Roy, Sue, Kelly. All sorts of all, so, all sorts of returning favorites. June, of course. First stream I've caught. Welcome, Jacob. Happy to ha happy to have you on board. You missed some exciting stuff last time, but who knows? Maybe you might be here for the most exciting thing this time. Mm. Hint, hint. We do have our poll going, as we always do at the top of the stream, where you can. Uh, Decide whether or not you believe that we're getting the cactus fruit today. We were full of high octane cactus fruit energy last stream, but it did not come to pass, unfortunately. However, 92% of believers right now are going to be uh, are, are going to be very happy. 93% of believers. It, it just keeps going up. This is the highest we've seen it, but we're going to let it ride for a little longer, so it has the potential to go down, but I'm going to hope that we're all optimistic today. Will he even be able to top last stream? It's going to be a Herculean effort to try, for sure, but I'm willing to give it my all. Oh my gosh, perfect timing on the Haley quote as usual. Thanks for the great year, Chloe. One of the rare quotes where Haley actually uses Chloe Chloe's name. And right at the end of year five, too. Perfect, perfect timing. Regardless, we do have a little bit of fan art to go over today, just one piece, I believe, but all every piece is uh, is appreciated, obviously. Today, we have a lovely little dino Chloe from Lizard Blizzard on YouTube. I don't know if you're in the chat here, Lizard Blizzard, but thank you very much for this. The dino onesie is just as beautiful as I think we all imagine it to be in our heads. Haley is not as appreciative of it as you can see right there. That is that is a true part of the stream lore. Haley did not like the Dino onesie very much, but you know, sometimes you gotta do things for yourself. Thank you very much for this Lizard Blizzard, and thank you to all of the fan artists as usual. If you'd like to contribute your own fan art, exclamation point Discord to join the Discord. There is a fan art channel where you can share your stuff there. And let me know how you want to be credited. You can also tweet it at me at Argon Matrix, share it with me through DM. Whatever floats your boat. Big thanks again to Lizard Blizzard and to all the fan artists. All right, let me go ahead and pop on over here for now. Got some nice Prairie King music kicking us in, but I'm gonna have to kick it out so that I can actually get started with uh, with my thing here. I have a notification on Discord. What the heck? Oh, it's it's from Ring Queen server. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Um, not that I don't like Ring Queen, but you know, just now is not the time. Let's go ahead and flip on over to Stardew here. Okay. Uh, let me mute the music as well. Well, hold on. I'm going to pause here. Then we mute. It's all, it's all over the place. So many windows to keep tabs on. And then we go to here. Swap on over. All right, we're looking good. Looking good. All right. Voting yes after the success of the previous stream. I appreciate it, Amelia. We are sitting at a cool 88% of believers in chat right now. 88% of people think that we will get the cactus fruit today, and I'm inclined to agree. 80, 87%? I better end the poll before it goes too much lower than that. Yikes. <laughs> right at 69 votes as well. Perfect as all things should be. Perfectly balanced. Alright. So, for this stream, um, obviously we've completed a lot of stuff. We completed, we finished up a lot of things last stream. We got to our 13,303,690 dollars goal that we, that we believe is going to be all that we need in order to achieve perfection. Um... We, we, we just did a lot. We did so much stuff. But 
It's time to look forward, and I think the best way to start this, number one, I am going to say, the dino, the dino outfit did serve us well last stream, but that is that was a reward specifically for last stream, and all good things must come to an end. We'll see the return of the dino flowy outfit in due time, don't you worry. The Skull Cavern beckons us ever forward. But for right now, we gotta switch back to our old classic. I don't, I'm honestly kind of glad we didn't get the Cactus Fruit last stream, because it wouldn't have felt right to get it without the trash outfit. It just, this just feels like it has to happen, you know what I mean? It just seems too perfect to me. So, dinosaur hat, dinosaur shirt, dinosaur pants. We will retire you for the time being. Hey there, Fiona. Welcome to the stream. We've also had every other desert trash tra tra desert trash item twice. It's promising. Any anything to keep our hopes up right now. What is 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 this not like a What the heck is this? Isn't this supposed to be like a flower pot or something? Like a like a tub of flowers or did the tub of flowers not generate flowers in the winter? Is that what I'm learning right now? Or did we move the tub of flowers somewhere else? I don't think I've ever noticed that. I mean, how often do you really use tubs of flowers? But, like, my flowers are just gone. Seasonal flower pot changes every season? I honestly never even noticed. <laughs> hey, Zila, thank you. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Thank you for becoming a YouTube member. Welcome to the Positron tier. The highest tier available. That is an immense amount of support. Thank you so much. Fellow members, can we get some Argon love for Zila for for go, going the extra mile there? Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your sword and your emotes. Alright. Um, so like I was saying, I want to take stock of where we are and what we have to still focus on in order to get perfection here. Obviously the cactus fruit is going to be top of mind. Exclamation point trash. But... We have a whole bunch of other stuff, so let's just let's just look at our collections here for the first little bit of the stream, and we'll just take stock of where these things are going to come from, okay? So, the shipping tab. We've been over this before, but I think it is, it's, it's been a while since then, so let's go over it again just so we're all on the same page. Uh, coconut and cactus, fruit and banana. So these two are obviously desert items, and then banana is ginger island, so we'll just have to wait until we can unlock those. The small white egg is one we're waiting on from Marnie at the Feast of the Winter Star. So that's no problem. I mean, it's it'll get here when it gets here, you know what I mean. Um, this milk, this is just regular milk. We get that from Sandy when, we, when we're eventually able to talk to her. She can, just, she can just randomly give you milk, I think, on Saturdays. So we'll just have to try our luck there and eventually get that. Uh, garlic, we have to grow that from... The seeds that we get in the Skull Cavern eventually, exclamation point treasure. So that's what we'll have to look forward to. Same with the kale. This one's rhubarb, I believe. Or is this? I always get these confused. Oh, that's radish. Okay, this is rhubarb, which is mixed seeds on Ginger Island, I'm pretty sure, right? So that is going to be fine. Uh, this morel and the fiddlehead fern are going to be from the secret woods when we eventually unlock that after enchanting our copper axe. Make sure, I mean, I hope you guys are all taking notes on this stuff. I know this is not the most enthralling content, but this this is going to be on the test later, so make sure that you're all, all abreast of what's happening here. Um, We have, next up, this is the red cabbage, I'm pretty sure, which we'll get as a, we'll get red, red cabbage seeds as a drop from Serpents in the Skull Cavern. This one is bok choy, which is another Skull Cavern... Uh, treasure room seed. This is a chanterelle, which I'm pretty sure is that uh, is that secret secret woods as well. Scribbles notes aggressively. I think this is secret woods, the chanterelle. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna hope so anyway. Or it could just be. I think we also have the mushroom cave on Ginger Island when we get there, right? So we could also rely on that. Cranberries are also um, a skull cavern treasure room seed. Same with the beet. This is an ostrich egg, I want to say. Is this school or a Stardew Valley stream? Why not both? Por no los dos, as, the, uh, as that taco commercial says. I believe this is an ostrich egg, which is uh, Ginger Island. We get that from the Volcano Dungeon. Hey there, Iron Buster. This is a Void Egg, I think. Is that a Void Egg, or is, is Void Egg somewhere else still? 
No, that's got to be void egg, because it's the only egg-shaped thing left here other than the egg. <laughs> void egg is from a void salmon fish pond once we, once we finish the community center. Uh, mayonnaise. We can get mayonnaise by putting ostrich eggs in a, in a mayonnaise maker. Void egg, yeah, okay. He spoke Spanish, but he refuses to give us French. <laughs> we oui. say, say, uh, oh, I can't remember what true is in French. Oh my gosh. All right, um, this is void mayonnaise right here, which is obviously tied to the void egg in the same way. The rest of this page is done. Next up, we got a sweet gem berry. Exclamation point cart. We're still waiting on the rare seed from the traveling cart, but that's not going to come to fruition until year 13, as we've, uh, vrai, vrai is what, uh, true is in French. Thank you, thank you. We got some <laughs> French professionals in chat. Why wasn't the cactus fruit gotten through the traveling cart? Because you can get it from the garbage cans, which is uh, less expensive than the tra traveling cart, obviously, and we're minimizing our expenditures. Um, cheese, you can trade, I think, emeralds for cheese at the Desert Trader. We could also turn some of the milk that we get from Sandy into cheese if we needed to. Truffle oil, we will get from deconstructing a rain totem, which we get from Skull Cavern Treasure Rooms. So we need the deconstructor for that, but that's with chi gems later on, so not a big deal. Uh, caviar, we have a sturgeon in reserve to put in our fish pond, and then you turn sturgeon row into, you age it in the same process that you make aged row in order to get caviar. Uh, rabbit's foot, also dropped by serpents in the skull cavern, so we'll just have to wait on that. Uh, tea leaves, we actually just haven't shipped yet, I'm pretty sure. We, just, we can just do that today. We might as well. And then um, all this stuff. I think this is like taro roots and taro tubers and pineapple mango. Uh, magma crystals or something. Magma cap. No, cinder shards, magma cap. Radioactive ore, radioactive bar. That's all Ginger Island. So we need to just get there eventually. Hey there, Laisha. Welcome to the stream. All right, so that's the shipping tab. That's that's the big honker for sure. That's uh, gonna take us a while. It's it's very diverse and very very varied, I suppose. But it is all we we have plans for all of this stuff, and that's the important part. Um, we also have the fishing tab, so we're just gonna go through each of these. That's probably the the biggest one that we're gonna like focus on today, or not? Well, the, the, that's the longest we're gonna take on any of these tabs. The rest of these should be fairly quick. All right, uh, sandfish. And scorpion carp are both desert fish, obviously. Uh, so we need to wait until we get to the desert for that. This is slime jack, I'm pretty sure, or is this uh, is th this one's void salmon, or is this one's this one's slime jack? What is this one? Oh, that's the wood skip. That's the wood skip from the secret woods. Okay. Uh, so wood skip, secret woods, void salmon, which is swamp after the community center. Uh, slime jack is also after the community center in the poison um. In the mutant bug layer. And then we got manta ray, lionfish, and blue discus, which are all Ginger Island exclusives. Hey, I found a new tool to open jars with, says Haley. You always gotta wonder what that tool is. Is there an exclusive one you can buy only on an infomercial that you watch at like 2 a.m.? Alright, next up, artifacts. So this is this tab is a little bit scuffed because we actually already got the rusty cog and the anchor. And it just didn't show up in this tab, but they are in the museum, which is, uh, I, I would like to get them again in order to just, like, just from my own peace of mind to complete this tab, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll see if we can finagle it. Um, ornamental fan. I'm gonna actually pop over here to, because Creatrix Tiara, a long, a long time watcher of the stream, has actually compiled a list of, uh, like, where to get all these artifacts and, and, and these gems as well that we're missing. So let me go over there just to. It's in the, I have it loaded up in, from the Discord here. Give me one second. Uh, I think it's over in the Price of Perfection channel here. Yeah, okay. So um, let me. Now that that's loaded up, I'm going to pop over here. I'm, I'm not going to be able to see chat for a second, so bear with me. But Ornamental Fan. So Chip Dan 4 was also on this list, list, but we actually got that one last stream, so that's taken care of. Ornamental Fan is artifact spots at the beach, the Cindersat Forest, or Pelican Town. The beach seems to be the most likely at 
but it's also available from fishing treasure chests, so we could try our luck at fishing as well. Um, the anchor is also in that same boat of being an artifact spot at the beach at 4% or fishing treasure chests. So if we want to get another one of those, that's the way. The uh, rusty cog, I don't see on here, but maybe that's because it's already just in the in the museum, so it so, uh, didn't get listed in this list. But it is available from, I think, artifact spots on the farm, which we don't have a whole lot of control over, obviously, so we'll just have to try our luck. These are both uh, the golden relics from the desert. They're exclusive to artifact spots in the desert, as well as artifact troves, but we can't open those, so it is what it is. And then um, the prehistoric rib, we it's it's a, apparently a 30% drop from Pepper Rexes in the Skull Caverns. So that's probably going to be our best bet for that, but it is also available in artifact spots, so there's a chance we could get it there, but we're not going to focus that one down. So realistically, the, the only things we can focus here are the ornamental fan and the and the anchor, and I guess the rusty cog to an extent, just by doing artifact spots and maybe, fi maybe a little fishing here and there, but we'll see. Minerals. So this is Aronite, I'm pretty sure. Aronite is available from Frozen Geodes and Omni Geodes. All, all these are available from Omni Geodes, by the way, all the ones that we have left to get. But Omni Geos are a little tough, tough, tougher to procure than just the specific geodes. So this is Frozen Geode. Uh, the Fairy Stone down here is also Frozen Geode. And then Helvite, which is this last one, is Magma Geode. So we could definitely try and focus on getting some Frozen Geodes today if we wanted to, in order to just try our luck at that. And then Magma Geodes for Helvite eventually. Or we could just wait on Omni Geodes as well. It's either way is going to work. So thank you to Creatrix for compiling that list. That was uh, that was very helpful. Thank you, thank you. I will. What the heck did my stream like die out? <laughs> oh no, my preview window was just it was my preview window was taking a minute to get caught up. But I, I hope hopefully that wasn't just like a black screen for you guys that whole time. That would have been very awkward. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in chat, I should say. I'm just seeing what, what... You guys are talking about egg, egg, diamond, egg. I'm so confused. <laughs> Frozen eggs. All right. Um, next, we have all the... We have a lot of stuff left to cook. We could probably do a lot of this stuff, so maybe that's where we focus our, our efforts today, is on getting as much of this cooked as we can. I'm not going to go through each of these individually and see the ingredients, but we can start to go one by one through these uh, eventually. We can see the entire time. Good to know. Thank you, Abin. So it's, it's a lot of cooking to do, but it's not... We we have all these recipes as well still left to get, but I'm pretty sure those are all Ginger Islands exclusives, right? Like, we got ginger ale. I think this is like... Uh, there's like mango sticky rice and banana pudding. And then you got like curry and poi. And I think that's all either from Leo... Or, um, we also have this one from Sandy, the Tom Ka soup. So those are recipes from NPCs we are not, not able to get to yet, or, uh, we just haven't been to the area yet. Alright, um, this tab here, so this is an interesting one, right? You can see, complete collection, we're gonna get there eventually. Sous Chef, we'll, we'll be cooking stuff, we'll get there eventually. Same with Craft Master, just, these are all just part of perfection. Same with Master Angler. And same with full shipment, but then you got this one right here, polyculture. This is not a requirement for perfection, but I feel like we have to do this just for our own peace of mind in order to complete all the achievements here. I think, I think we just have. I think that might be a good idea to focus on too. So we can we can look into that. It sh says ship 15 of every crop, but I don't think that includes things like flowers or specific, uh, like, special crops, like ancient fruit and sweet gem berries and that sort of thing. I think it's all just, like, seasonal crops mainly, which most of which we have access to, but not all of which. Tell me if you like beans or no. Depends on the beans, honestly. Most of them I would say yes, though. I can't think of one that I don't like, so... And then obviously letters and secret notes. Secret, I don't know what secret note 10 is, but I guess we just haven't found it yet. We're just not that lucky. I don't know. Maybe it's only available after we do something else in the game. Um, gonna cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. So that's where we stand as far as our collections go, as far as our progress goes. I think we will probably focus today 
Uh, normally we do like crystallarium resource harvesting. We might forego that today in order to focus more on cooking and on this polyculture achievement. Just in order to diversify a little bit, you know? We can do this little grind on the side. We'll, we'll, I'll try to commit a little bit harder to checking the beach artifact spots for the ornamental fan and the anchor. And then otherwise, I don't think I have that much control over this. So let's go ahead and uh, first and foremost, I think that polyculture achievement, focusing on that, is also going to help us... Um, it's also going to help us with a greenhouse cleanup because we I do I would like to make the greenhouse more effective and usable because we're not going to be using it for ancient fruit and hops and stuff anymore. They serve their purpose well enough up until this point obviously, but they are no longer a necessity now that we have all the money that we need. So, we can start to use that for other interests. I think you need to enter the skull cavern to unlock that note, secret note 10. That would probably check out Ooh, what's hidden here? A little pomegranate? Perfectly blended in, just about. Stop the pickle music. Uh, the pickle music has stopped. It is It is no more. It is silenced. Alright, um... I think Keg Town here is ready to go as well. I don't feel like we need to worry about these kegs anymore. I think I can probably just yeet all those realistically. So I think what I want to do here, um... I, I do kind of like having the hops just as a legacy. We'll just we'll just leave them lining this area. But the rest of this, I think, we'll probably scrap and rework to our to serve our needs. Not necessarily yet. I'm not sure where I want to go with that, but we will focus that down a little later today. Before we focus, worry about that though, let's go do our trash run, which is what I know you all came for. Pull for kegs, they're part of history. I'm not as attached to the kegs for whatever reason as I was to like the, the crab pots. Maybe that's just me. But also because the kegs are much more in the way, I feel like, than, than the crab pots ever were. But I can do a pull for it for sure. You should see which crops you've already shipped 15 of so we can make you a checklist. I will go over that shortly for sure. That's a good call out, June. Thank you. Uh, Pet Timby, already taken care of. What do you take me for? All right, so we're going to do a poll. Should we get rid of Keg City, which is what I'm unofficially calling it just for the purposes of this poll, that area of kegs in front of the greenhouse. Ask your community. This is a democratic channel, indeed. It always has been, always will be. We all are part of the journey here, so I would not, uh, I would not make that executive of a decision just willy-nilly, I suppose. Happy birthday, Clint, by the way, I guess. We're not going to give him a birthday gift, but... It looks like it's going to be another uh, another close poll, just like right off the bat here. Currently, yes is winning. Yes, get rid of the kegs with uh, 53% of the of the vote, but we'll, we'll let it go for a little while longer just so more people can get a chance. You can't sell kegs? We're not going to be... We wouldn't, I wouldn't sell them. I would just, you know put them away in a chest so that they're more out of the way. I just don't want them like on my like up in my face all the time, preferably, but that's just where I stand. I'll 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 acquiesce to whatever demands you guys want. All right, more trash. Let me make sure to copy this command, get it ready to go and put it in. Keg maze to auto run through when buying a bus ticket. There's an idea. Of course, we never buy bus tickets, so, I mean, I don't know what purpose that would serve, but <laughs> it is certainly an idea. Fifty-two percent. Man, it is, that is a close poll, if I've ever seen one. I didn't know I didn't know there were so many diehard fans of Keg City. It is a part of history, as, as Gail so aptly said earlier, so maybe that's, uh, it could be something to consider, I suppose. Okay, um, so let's go over the crops that we need for this polyculture achievement, right? So, what do we still need to ship? So, parsnips, let's, we'll just start from the top here. I know we just went through this tab not, not that long ago, but at least you don't have to listen to Pickle Jar Rag over and over again for this one. Parsnips, number shipped 30, already taken care of. The next crop on the list here would be garlic, but obviously we don't have access to that. Kale, 
is also on that list. Uh, same with rhubarb. Melons. Number shipped two. So melons are going to be... We need, we need to ship 13 more melons. Uh, four, 14 more tomatoes. Blueberries, I think we're already good on. <laughs> I think we've shipped a, a few more than 15 of those. Um, hot peppers, okay. So, I, I don't know if anyone's gonna be making a list of this, but let's, uh, let's... Maybe just, let's have a look here. What seeds do we have, if any? Um... Excuse me, my melons? Did I not keep any melon seeds? That might be my fault, but I mean, I can always get them from mixed seeds again, right? So it's not that big of a deal. But I probably should have kept at least uh, at least one melon in order to make more seeds out of. That's fine, though. Alright. I could make a command out of this, too. Just for, like, polyculture ones, but... Alright, so melons, tomatoes, um, hot pepper and wheat... Radishes, star fruit, corn were good. I don't know if unmilled rice counts. Does unmilled rice count as a crop for polyculture? Let me go ahead and uh, I can I can actually probably check that on the wiki myself here. Give me one moment. I think it's probably on the shipping page. Uh, it does not appear to no. I don't, it's, there's like a list of this poly, of these polyculture crops and it does not show up there, so I think we're good. Alright, um, egg, eggplant we're pretty close on, but not quite there. Artichoke, pumpkin, so like most of the crops we have not shipped more than 15 of, which I mean that checks out pretty well, but... We do need to focus on that. Hops, three. Do hops count? Hops must count, right? Hops do count. Yeah, okay. For some reason, I, I thought that hops might not count, but I don't know why that would make any sense. All right. Ooh, Karita, good, doing good there, keeping track. So we need... Th yeah, you got 13 melons, 14 tomatoes... Uh, 14 hot peppers, 14 wheat, um, 12 radishes, <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'll go a little slower, so 12 radishes, 13 star fruit, big ups to Karita for keeping track of this stuff, um, 3 eggplant, um, tw uh, 11 artichoke, 12 pumpkins. Man, what, a, what riveting commentary, right? 14 yams, which you already got there. 14 amaranth. 12 hops. None of the rest of these are crops. We can also add to the list just, to, just for completeness sake. I'm overwhelmed. Oh no, I didn't copy it. It's okay, I can make a command out of this too, probably. It's, that's probably the best way to do it, honestly. If, if it doesn't exceed the character limit. Um, Let's see. So, 12, 12 hops. We'll, we'll say, yeah, 15. I don't know if I want to add these ones yet, but we could, we could, I guess. But What else we got here? Are there any other crops? Oh, strawberry. Do grapes, do grapes count? I mean, we already shipped 29 grapes, so that's not a big deal either way. Um, 14 strawberries. I don't think sweet gem berries count. Uh, 14 coffee beans? We have, we've only shipped a single coffee bean in our lifetime, which is kind of hilarious considering how integral coffee has been to this, to this challenge, but... That's, I mean, obviously, why would we be shipping coffee beans just raw like that? And the rest of this, I think, is is whatever, right? Potatoes? Did I skip potatoes? Potatoes. Potatoes. We need 11 potatoes. Thank you, Lighter, for catching that one. Coffee doesn't count. Let me go double-check the list. Uh, Coffee beans do count. Coffee beans are in the polyculture list. 
a bit of a surprise, maybe, but it is uh, it is true if the wiki does not lie. Separate a command for each season. That might be a few too many commands, though. But it might be necessary if we want to do not, not break the character limit. Green beans. Did I not see green beans? Fourteen green beans. Thank you, Sakura. If I if we didn't get that. So let's go ahead. Maybe let's not focus too much on too too much on everything all at once. Let's go ahead and let's pop up. Let's pop on over to the greenhouse so you can actually for people who aren't just like uh, VOD listeners or stream listeners, whatever audio only people. Let's go ahead and we're going to rework this greenhouse. So if anyone is sensitive to the destruction of crops in Stardew Valley, avert your eyes right now. This is going to be a painful thing to watch, but it's a necessary evil. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's for the greater good, I promise. It's not something I would ordinarily do. But you know what? These these uh, ancient fruit, ancient fruit plants have served their purpose. Can we get yes some O sevens? Thank you. Good good idea, Mine Craggle. O seven salute to the ancient fruit. Without them, we would not have gotten to this thirteen million gold mark nearly as fast. Like I have a sort of a weird attachment to the hops, but realistically, the ancient fruit were the kings here. I think I just attach myself more to the hops because it's more unique, but the ancient fruit, I mean, there's a reason that it's the most popular, right? The, 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 uh, this and the star fruit, they do good work. Thank you, ancient fruit. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, I promise. There we go. All right. The hops, I kind of want to just leave for, uh, I think they just make like a nice little fence along the side here. It's kind of it's kind of more iconic, I think, than the ancient fruits were. Do you have ancient fruit for the missing bundle? Uh, yeah, we still got ancient fruit in here. So <laughs> this hurts. I cannot, but I cannot not watch. <laughs> All right. Now I think we also want to, if if we want to do this right, if we want to do this the way that makes this most aesthetically pleasing. I think we're doing a full greenhouse overall here. So, despite the fact that the corn... I, you know what I think we do? I think we're going to go ahead and... I think we do it like this. So I'm going to I'm gonna do some rearranging of this. Welcome, Rebescapades, by the way. Thank you for joining the Electron tier. Becoming a YouTube member, I appreciate you. These, these corn plants, I'm destroying them in your honor. Maybe that's not what you want, but... All right, corn plants, get out of here. We'll be replanting the corn. Harvest the hops. There's no need. I mean, actually, you know what? The hops, you're right. You're totally right. Hops. Number shipped, three. We need 12 hops. So why, why don't we just pick all these? And we don't process them. We just ship them. That's a good, that's a good call out. We might as well just ship, like, all of them. There's no reason to hold on to any extras here. They'll just regrow in a day anyway, so... I thought this was a PG-13 stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, look. I never said this was going to be easy, but this is... The corn will make a return, and so will the blue jazz. I think, you know what? I could just let these blue jazz, like, grow, and just and, and, and then far harvest them, and then rework it. Maybe that's the way to do it. Maybe we won't do this full greenhouse overhaul until we get um, these blue jazz done. Because I want, I want this to be a clean slate here. So we're going to let this blue jazz grow, because I'm not that much of a monster. I'm going to let them grow, and we'll harvest them, and then we'll rework things. But for now, let's just go ahead and sell all these hops for our polyculture achievement. And then let's look into what seeds we can make right now for polyculture. So artichoke we need, correct. Let's see. Because I don't have the command. I just had people, like, writing stuff in. I, I mean, this is not the most uh, streamlined process. So, artichoke, we do need 11 of. So, we're going to go ahead and start seed making you. Uh, cauliflower, we have nine seeds right there. Cauliflower. We already shipped 15 cauliflower. We're good. Okay. 
Corn, obviously, we're taking care of. Eggplant. Eggplant. We ship 12. So we can actually just sell three of these. And that's fine. Let me just go do that right now while I'm thinking about it. Boom. Done. Uh, parsnips, I know we're good on. Pumpkins. Pumpkins were... We were only sold like one or like a few of. Yeah, th uh, three pumpkins. So we want to go ahead and seed maker all of these, actually. Just in order to bump up our, our odds here. 50-50 on the poll. That poll is still going, and it is exactly at 50% of people wanting the uh, the kegs and people wanting us to get rid of them. That is... <laughs> Is, oh, 51% say no, don't get rid of the kegs now. Oh man, that it is the closest vote in stream history. Um, so yeah, pumpkins. What's up next? It was the radishes. Radishes, we have three. Uh, so I'm going to seed maker all these as well. Hot peppers. Well, blueberries I know we're good on. Hot peppers, we, have, we might have enough just to ship right here. We need 14 hot peppers. We currently have, uh, what is that, 18. So we can actually just uh, sell. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, right there. Sell all the hot peppers. Check it and see. I got a fever of 103. All right, those crocuses are just a different thing. Um, over here, we have... Hey, this is this these these are important crops because these are ones that we have to we cannot get multiples of if we don't seed maker. So let's see. We got yam seeds all ready to go. Uh yams, I'm pretty sure, are ones we have to grow. Yeah, we, we need a lot more yam seeds. Or we could go kill a bunch of duggies, I guess. Uh the amaranth. Amaranth, I think we have to seed maker, right? Yep. Amaranth. Okay. Uh we also have amaranth seeds already here. And green beans, I believe we also need to seed maker. Yeah. So that's a full inventory right there. Let's go ahead and start on this process here. Okay, the artichoke, we only have one of, but it is, we can get it from mixed seeds. So even if it's, this turns into mixed seeds, this is not the end of the world. We also have a lot of mixed seeds that we can fall back on. So it's, we, we might be able to, mixed seeds might make their comeback in this challenge yet. For just this exact purpose for the polyculture achievement. We shall see. Alright, artichoke seeds paid out with three. That's actually really, really good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start throwing we'll throw this radish in as well. Throw these pumpkins in. All the pumpkins. I'd rather have too many seeds than not enough seeds. So I might go like a little overkill on these... Uh, with, with seed makering some of this stuff. But... It is, I think, a good idea. Got some mixed seeds out of that pumpkin. It's not what you love to see, but it is. It's it should be fine, especially because we got seven pumpkin seeds anyway here. Amaranth seeds. That's good because that's a that's a non-renewable one, or not. We can't like buy back any more of that. That's also very good. Okay. Now, we can actually probably get started because I'd like to do like maybe like rows of this stuff. We can probably get started with with all of these. Oh, we got more pumpkins to seed maker still. Hold on, hold on. Boop, boop, boop. You still need to get melons again from mixed seeds? If I put mixed seeds in the greenhouse, do they just pick from, like, random seasons? Or how does that work? I honestly don't know. I feel like we just, we'll just probably have to wait until summer for melons in order to guarantee ourselves with, with some mixed seeds. Be careful where you put the beans. Good call. That's because uh, they are a trellis crop. So we want to make sure that they're not blocking off access too much. We'll probably put them in the back. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Let me go ahead and put those away. Greenhouse mixed seeds do every season. So like that's like good and bad. That's a double-edged sword because we could get melons like right away, but there's also so many other crops that it could pick from. That I feel like it's better to just wait on summer to arrive, right? I think that's going to be my play right now. The snowy weather gives me cravings for pink cake, says Haley. Wait for your birthday? Indeed, Elaine. <laughs> Alright, um, we're going to go ahead and throw down these uh, green beans. 
at the back here. I could also do like speed row on these, but it's not really that big of a deal. All right, so green beans at the back there. Then we gotta go ahead and we'll just we'll just do these in like little rows here, like I said. We'll just do yams like so. Uh, this row is not ideal, but you know what? We'll artichoke it up. I could also I need I could rework this the sprinkler layout for sure with um iridium sprinklers, but it's fine. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and do a little pumpkin action right here. I probably shouldn't have used this spot realistically because it's like uh, it's not water, and I'll have to like run and get my watering can and stuff. But it's fine. All works out. Okay. Prismatic shards. You just, I just see you saying prismatic shards. I'm not sure what in response to. I feel like I might be missing some stuff. I'm not looking at chat too much, so that might be on me. Missing integral parts of the conversation here. Finally caught a stream. Welcome, Master Procrastinator. Great name. Three VODs behind. I have no idea what's going on and have to go to bed soon, but happy to be here for five minutes. Thank you very much, for the, uh, especially for the, the luck on the cactus fruit. We're going to need all that we can get. Hope you continue to enjoy the VODs and have a great night. Okay. Now, obviously, we don't need, like, full rows of every crop, so we could mix it up a little bit. I think my plan for the greenhouse is going to be to do all this polyculture stuff, and then we'll just make the greenhouse look nice, so that it's just a place that you want to, like, hang out in. Not that we'll ever go there, like, a whole lot, but I think it's uh, it could be for the greater good. Okay. You're going to go ahead and do... What are we doing? I was looking for more crops here. Okay. Uh, the strawberry... Star fruit and tomato. We need to seed maker all of these, I'm pretty sure, right? Let's see. Tomato, we still need lots of. Stra star fruit, the same. And strawberry, I'm almost 100% sure we still need a lot of. So, all right. This is actually okay. I shouldn't do the strawberry right now because we only have one. I don't think we have any strawberry seeds either, do we? Doesn't look like it. So, this, this strawberry is actually, if, if it turned into mixed seeds, we would have to reset the whole day, and I don't think any of us want to reset this whole day after everything we've just gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and... I mean, the tom tomatoes are kind of in the same boat there, huh? Or are tomatoes... I feel like tomatoes are like a mixed seed thing, but maybe not. We need a Greg emote. <laughs> Could be in the works for sure. Did he do the garbage run? I did do the garbage run, yes. Oh, thank you very much for that. Uh, let's see. Karita, you got Karita got the full layout here. I will go ahead and copy this. I'm gonna see if it if it lets me do this. Hold on. Commands add, I think it would be. What if I just do this? It's a little too long for me to do it in YouTube chat, but I think it might actually, if I just go in directly into Nightbot, I might be able to do this. So let me, uh, sorry for all, like, this, this is, this is a lot to go to, like, we've been, like, 40 minutes into the stream, we're still on the first day of the stream, it's a little, or first day of the, in Stardew Valley, it's a little much, I realize, but, uh, this is all sort of housekeeping stuff that I want to take care of eventually, so I think it now is a good time to focus on it as we load up for the new year here. Once we have everything going, I think it'll be a nice streamlined process, but, just gonna have to bear with me on this one. So let me go directly into Nightbot. Add command. We're gonna do exclamation point poly. And then I will put this message in, this lovely little message from Karita. And let me just reformat some of this here. I'm gonna hope this is this is fairly accurate. Although I don't know, maybe I don't even need to do this because this is like a. Let's see. Twelve radishes, thirteen star fruit. Because I feel like we could do. Uh, I'm gonna commit to it now that I'm already in here. I might as well. But 
I feel like I'm going to be updating this command so much that it might not even be necessary. But, you know what? For completeness sake, I think it is a good idea to at least have it there. Amaranth. Potatoes. All right. Uh, protein, coffee, beans. I don't know if any of these were updated when we actually shipped out the stuff that we as we were going through things, but all right. That'll be good. Uh, let me make sure all the rest of this is good. I'm actually just going to change this to make sure that it's not too long of a message for Nightbot to post in chat. And... Boom. All right, exclamation point Polly should be live now. If Nightbot wants to cooperate, we'll see. <laughs> Sometimes Nightbot is a little slow on the uptake. It was, it was updated for those. Thank you very much, Karita. Good to know. All right. Um, but speaking of uh, things to get caught up on here, 54% of people in this poll now say that no, we should not get rid of Keg City, all the kegs in front of the greenhouse. And, I mean, I'm not that invest so invested in it that I would veto such a thing. If you guys feel like it's an important, integral part of the challenge's history, Keg City remains. It is here to stay. It was a very close-fought battle. But, in the end, after all that time, the, uh... The historians, the Price of Perfection historians, have uh, have won out. They came out in full force, brought out all the biggest guns that they could, and they made it, uh, they, they succeeded in the face of doubt. Well done, well done. All right. Yo there, Monster Muckle. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, good to see you. All right. Now... That we actually like have things, uh, so we're not gonna seed maker this strawberry. I will seed maker the star fruit. I'm fairly confident that between those three, we'll be fine. I'm gonna seed maker the tomatoes. It's a little scary if both of them were to turn into mixed seeds, but uh, I think we can probably count on at least one of them being okay. I'm about to look like a fool if it doesn't work out, but <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, and the strawberry, we wait on till tomorrow, just on the off chance that it does indeed turn into a mixed seed. We don't want to face that reality. Do like that, and then we go ahead and plant these guys right here. Okay. That, I think, is a good start to our setup for the polyculture achievement. I'm going to go ahead and double check here. Uh, the coffee beans. We can actually ship these coffee beans, right? Exclamation point poly. That's, uh, I think, one of them. So we can probably update that, like, immediately, basically. If I ship these coffee beans. The potatoes as well. Potatoes, actually, we might have enough here to, to ship. Hold on. I've shipped four potatoes. I need 11. Um, I, it would bring me down to three potatoes. But we could just do it. Just, like, send it. Then I will go ahead and I might as well ship like these highest quality ones. Isn't it like I need 14 of them? No, we'll just ship 15 just to be like totally sure. No, we'll ship 14. I know it's 14. Um, anything else in here? I don't think so. How did you tailor the garbage shirt? It's just any piece of garbage, like a trash bag, a broken glasses, what have you, in the sewing machine will get you there, I'm pretty sure. Replace the coffee bean with the strawberry because you forgot them. No worries, Karita. I can do that. How many do you need for cooking? It's a great question, but I mean, potatoes we can always get more of regardless, so I'm not super concerned about it. Maybe I should be more concerned because cooking is an actual requirement for perfection, whereas polyculture is just, you know, for fun and completion's sake. But we're going to commit to it. So potatoes get sold. Coffee beans get sold. 
and I will go update, uh, I'll go into the guts of Nightbot to update that command. Let me see, where's exclamation point poly right here. So let's see, coffee beans. So, so we will change that out for strawberries, like Karita said. Strawberries. And then potatoes, we can just get rid of outright. And save that. All right, cool. Thank you all for bearing with me on this one. I know it's a, it's a bit of a different watch than usual, but we're golden. Okay. Let's go to freaking bed. That was like I'm all, I'm exhausted in real life from all this thinking I've been doing. Holy crap! I can't I can only imagine how exhausted Chloe must be after all this like running around and doing all this weird stuff. Let's call it a night. Go to sleep for the night. I think we're good. Not to brag, but I just got chipped Amphora. I beat you to the punch by a little bit there, uh, Jingo. We got that last stream, but congratulations all the same. <laughs> all right. Bit, uh, we got a little bit extra gold here. Not that it really matters. Good stuff, good stuff. How dare you entertain us in a different way than usual? That's the, that's the nicest way you could have phrased that, and I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. Let's get a move on here. So I think what we start off with very first thing here, before even checking like the mail or any of this, let's do this strawberry seed maker, just so we know if we have to reset the day or not. If this turns into mixed seed or mixed seeds or an ancient seed, uh say hello to exclamation point resets, but tension is high. All right, all right. Three strawberry seeds, even. So we should be pretty much set from from here on out for that. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and fill out these last three slots up here with that, and uh, we'll let it ride for now. Good stuff. All right. What do you got for me? A fish taco. Gus, you legend. Extra fishing buffs for when we do the scorpion carp. That doesn't go in there. I'm I'm very excited. I've I've been told by numerous people, mostly by Charlie, Charlie Barley, that uh, this that the scorpion carp is the hardest fish in the game. I don't know. We had quite the struggle against the legend, so I don't know. The scorpion carp at least will have like a lot more chances at than the legend. So I don't know if the difficulty will bear out the same. I don't think it'll take as long to catch as the legend, but who knows. At any rate, let's go do our garbage run, and then we'll focus on whatever else we need to do today. That's the polyculture stuff. Like, we just need to really wait on... Oh, we got our crystallariums as well. We just need to wait on a lot of those things to grow now. You won't need to keep catch scorpion carps if the trash cans keep giving you, them to you? I need to catch at least one for the fishing achievement, but I, I will need to... Uh... I mean, who knows? Who knows how many we're going to get from these garbage cans? Already up by two. You got lava eel first try? How hard could it be? Touche. What do you got for me? Aquamarine to put under my pillow? Alright. Uh, not going to help you with that, with that one, Pierre, but it's good to know what you're into, I guess. I am at ten hearts with the man, so I should, I should have some idea, I suppose. Alright, and we'll get into the habit as well of checking beach artifact spots here. I'm not going to worry too much about the forage, because um, we just don't need to anymore. And I don't want to fill out our inventory space unnecessarily. Hey, a dried starfish. That's actually like a... I could hold on to that, because that's good for some fish pond requests, but I don't know if it's going to be good for any of the ones that we actually need to use. Little glass shards, little gold ore. All right. Don't expect this many artifact spots every time. It is winter, so they're in higher demand than usual. Or in higher supply, I suppose. And uh, we also haven't checked the beach in a long time. Found you through no leveling up video. I'm not sure how long ago that was, that was made, but I'm impressed. It's been almost three years now, MBH, since we did that. So uh, it's been a while, but I'm still here. I'm still kicking. Thank you for Thank you for tuning in. Welcome. 
Save some urchin corals and clam for crafting. I think we already have a decent amount of all those at home. So I'm not going to be super uh, miffed if I don't if I don't have enough. Because I, I mean, I should have a decent amount and I can always rely on the beach to provide me more, more eventually. Alright. That's nice point. More trash. We are we are also closing in on that four thousand mark pretty quick of of trash can searched exclamation point trash. I think by near the end of spring we'll be in that position where we will if we don't get the cactus fruit by that point we're giving that prismatic shard directly to Haley. Unfortunate as as it may be, it's a reality we might have to face sooner rather than later. Welcome to the stream, Fluffy. We've only been doing a lot. We've been doing a lot of like organizational stuff this stream, so you haven't missed too much, thankfully. But welcome to the stream, all the same. All right. Take care of business right here. Nice 124 jades to our name. Don't mind it. Need more than that, obviously, but okay, we're not going here. Going bus stop. One thing I did want to do is uh, something else that's just sort of a fun diversionary thing. We have the flower dance coming up in in a little less than a month here. Uh, you know, we'll hold on to the dried starfish just in case, because I know that is a fish pond thing. If we need it, it's better to have one on hand. And we'll go ahead and sort through, sort the rest of this. Yeah, the flower dance we have coming up not too long from now. Last year we went in a ballroom gown type of deal. I think we need to think of a good outfit for this one. For the one that's coming up. And the idea that I had in mind was we already have this navy tuxedo here. So I think if we just get pants to match this, like navy pants, I think we'll be in a good spot. Which I'm pretty sure we just need to like make another pair of pants and then dye them. What's all the jade for? Exclamation point FAQ. Should be uh should be your helper on that one and other related questions. You calculated 22,000 floors, right? You're almost halfway there already. Am I really? I didn't even I haven't even been paying too much attention to how many jade we have. Alright. Uh blue pants. I looked. At, I actually looked it up on the wiki. I'm pretty sure you can make pants just from like a wild plum. I remember that stuck out because it was kind of funny to me. I don't think they'll be blue pants, but they'll be. Uh, they'll just be like the pants that we already have, basically. But I'd like an extra pair just in order to. Do I have the silk up here? I don't think I do. Or the cloth. Have the extra pair just to dye for for this occasion. Let's go ahead and pop this in here. Boom. Per nice, nice, beautiful, vibrant purple pants. Okay. <laughs> I can dig it. Uh, now we want to dye these. So we need to find... What do, you, what do you need for the dyes? There's like six colors you need. You need like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Something like that. We want to dye these. I'm also going to go ahead and bring... I'll bring the tuxedo with me so we can match it. Because so, so we can put this on and then we can match the dye at uh, at the at the location, right? Who doesn't love purple pants? Those are those are like some like like straight out of the '80s or something. Something you wear to a roller rink. Anyway, uh, so we want for to in order to dye something, you need all six colors. So I think we can do wood for orange. I'm pretty sure. What do we do for red? Uh, well, hold on. Sap can be yellow. Salmonberry is probably red. We got lots of salmon berries in uh, in our other chest anyway. Um, a little green algae for green. What's a good blue? We have lots of blueberries still. And then purple. We have crocuses there, but there's got to be something better than that. Sea urchins. I mean, it could do just a super cucumber, I guess. Purple. We got a lot of amethyst we're not using, so. Rainbow shell is purple. I would have thought rainbow shell was blue. But I think this is this is good. So let's head on over to, to Haley and Emily's place. 
Haley shouldn't be there. We don't want her to see us in our tuxedo. It's bad luck if the if the bride sees their uh, their other bride in their outfit before the wedding. Not that we're gonna have a wedding this in this challenge, but all right. How are you doing, Emily? Do you know how to cook bean hot pot? Sure do. Haven't made one yet. Haley is here. Okay, we need to make sure she doesn't see us. She's she's busy cooking. All right, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll make this nice and quick. Actually, these pants almost match already. It's not quite navy though. They're they're like black, so we gotta. All right, dye pots, dye pots, dye me. All right. Uh, looks like we got all the right colors here. There we go. That's perfect. We'll dye this. All right. So we got that. Now we just gotta match the navy tuxedo here. So we want to go a little more like. A little more muted here, maybe. And then we go up. I'm so bad with colors, so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. No, it's not quite it's not quite right. It's not quite the right. Maybe we need to adjust this a little more. Okay, okay, I feel like we're getting there. I feel like we're pretty much just about there. That looks pretty good to me right there. I don't know. Maybe a little darker. Oh, maybe a little lighter even. Oh, maybe it's not quite right here. I'm looking so close. How does this look? I think I think this is the closest I'm going to realistically get with my my own color eye. Hopefully I'm not that colorblind. Look at Chloe starting to match. I think I think this is probably good, right? Welcome, Chloe, to the stream, by the way. You haven't missed too much. Don't worry about it. Rotate the view. I, th I think she's looking very dapper. I think this is a good fit right here. Looks fine. Let's go. All right. Uh, right. Let's, let's switch on out of this before Haley sees us. We don't want to spoil the surprise. I'm glad to have... I'm glad you have less work to do in the winter. She's thinking about us. Must be nice to have a break, huh? Ironically, we've been doing more work like these past couple days than we have in the in the long time with all the stuff we're growing in the greenhouse now, but <laughs> she doesn't need to know that. All right, thank you all for bearing with me on that one. Put the hair down. We'll, we'll let her hair down so that we can all see it and go, ooh, ah, together on the day of the flower dance, which we probably won't get to this stream, but... It's good to have this in reserve. Haley says, promised you'll never ever lie to me again. When did we lie to Haley? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. All right. Uh, so we could just go to bed, I guess, now. Or do we want to... Do we want to do cooking as well? Now that we're focusing on, we focused on polyculture, but we could look into stuff here that we need to cook. I'm gonna, let's put it up to a poll. Do we want to, I'm gonna see, should we get some cooking done today? Today as in this stream, not specifically this Stardew Valley day, because I'm probably just gonna go to bed while I wait for this poll to, uh, while I wait for votes to roll in. And then we'll focus on it in the future. Go to sleep for the night? I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah. Solid 78% of people seem to think that, seem to say that they want to see some cooking today. They want to see what Chloe can do in the kitchen. I'm inclined to agree, but we'll let it ride for a little longer yet. Wait for the cooking G quest? I could, but like I'm also just like antsy to antsy to try it out, you know? There's so many different recipes that we have access to. And the cooking G quest, what is it? It's like you just cook like a bunch of one thing, right? Which we can just make a bunch of triple shot espresso if we're thinking of the same quest, but That's what I've been led to believe anyway, but I haven't looked specifically into the G quests, so I don't know 
if there's multiple cooking ones. Alright, still waiting on things to grow here. Cooking with Chloe, indeed. She's got she's got the perfect name for it. Anyone, any person whose name starts with a C, you gotta start up a cooking show at some point. I'm sorry, it's just a fact of life. As as long as it's like the hard C sound, as in cooking. So like if your name is like uh like Chelsea, cooking with Chelsea. I mean, it still has a ring to it, but it's not uh not quite the same, you know. Selling a hundred thousand dollars worth of fresh cooked food. That sounds like a rest, like a good idea for triple shot espresso. We could just invest. We'll have a whole so much coffee in reserve, and we can just like bust that out. So I think that'll be fine. It'll be easier than trying to do like a whole bunch of different dishes that probably won't even add up to a hundred thousand anyway. But thank you for looking out. Gotta watch Cooking with Abigail? Is that an actual show, or is that a meme? Is that a Stardew Valley thing? Because she, because ha ha, she eats rocks, so a cooking show with Abigail would be quite the sight. That is the last day of the year, by the way, which does mean we have not gotten the cactus fruit in year five. Exclamation point, more trash. Big yikes, but... Year five was big for many other reasons. It was a, it was a pivotal year for sure. We'll see. Maybe the cactus fruit is just waiting for nothing else to be happening in the stream because you know what that when the cactus fruit comes along, it's gonna overshadow literally everything else that happens that stream. There's no other way it can go down. It's just gonna be it's gonna dwarf everyone else's uh, or anything else that we do. So, mm, quartz salad. Don't knock until you try it, but uh, it might be a little crunchy. Alright, 82% of people say they want to see some cooking this stream. I'm happy to oblige. So let's just go down the list and see what we can make, right? I think that's the best way to do this. Let's hop into the kitchen so we can hear some Pickle Jar Rag while we go over all this. Because I know it's everyone's favorite song. And start. So fried egg. Fried egg we can't do because we obviously don't have access to eggs yet. When we get, like, access to void eggs and ostrich eggs, that will be our main source for any egg-based uh, meals. But for now, it's outside of our range. Same with the omelette. The salad. So, a leek, a dandelion, and some vinegar. Here's the thing. I think... I don't know if we have a leek or dandelion, but it is going to be spring, so it'll be fine. We'll just uh, grab that. I don't know. Maybe I do have some in, in the fridge. Hold on. Uh, I do not. Did I have some over here? I know I did some like weird sort of... Oh, I didn't... Did I ship any tea leaves yet, by the way? Uh, I did not. So we'll go ahead and sell one of these tea leaves just for our shipping purposes. So here's the interesting thing about the salad. Is that uh, in order to make it, obviously... We, we can get the leek and the dandelion during spring foraging. That's no problem. The vinegar... The only way to get vinegar is to buy it. You cannot get vinegar any other way. It, it has to be purchased from Pierre, or maybe Jojo Mart as well, but I think Pierre is cheaper. Usually is. Have crates given you vinegar? C vinegar does not have... is not cannot, cannot be sourced from uh, crates. Do you need 15 tea leaves? I don't think so. I don't think so. Exclamation point poly, though. It might be uh, in there. So, unfortunately, I believe in the checklist, let me double check here. It's at the top of the list, I'm pretty sure, near the top of the list. Vinegar, we need four bouts of vinegar, four bottles of vinegar for all the cooking recipes we need. So let's see if we can isolate those recipes just to make sure that that number is fully accurate. I'd like to think so because I did this research and I went through it so many times, but the salad we need vinegar for. You know what, probably the easier way to do this is just to actually uh, look it up on the wiki. Let's just go vinegar. Need vinegar for salad, radish salad, parsnip soup, and coleslaw. So you need four vinegar total. What do you guys say that we... Do you think it's just we just bite that bullet right now and just go buy four vinegar? Salad, parsnip soup, um... 
what else was it? It was like coleslaw and something else, but I, it's either way, it was four. Radish salad, I think, maybe? Radish salad somewhere in here. I just want I just want to see it with my own eyes, you know. So we got parsnip soup, we got salad, then you got uh radish salad, here we go, vinegar. And what was the other one? Oh gosh, I already forgot. It's coleslaw. Coleslaw? Coleslaw. What you suckers is coleslaw. I'm so bad with <laughs> with remembering what these dishes freaking look like. Coleslaw, right there. Vinegar, okay. Why not? Jojo might be cheaper when they get all those coupons at the other sales. Because we need to cook all these eventually for perfection, obviously. So I think it would be in our best interest to just, you know what? We need four vinegar. We know we need four vinegar. We're not relying on any item duplication glitches or anything like that. Rydia is very excited for, for a big expense. It, I mean, we don't get to buy things very often. It's usually a little more exciting because it's something available at the traveling cart, which has been, like, kind of a lottery for us. We're going to go ahead and check Jojomart just to make sure that the price is not, like, different or cheaper for whatever reason. Yeah, can we get some Argon Greed in chat? Argon Greed. We don't get to use it that often, but the expenses are there. Let's see. Uh, rice is also something we'll need to buy, I'm pretty sure. Let me actually look into that, too, because if we're going to Pierre's to buy vinegar, we might as well buy the rice as well, because that's another one. You can get rice by milling unmilled rice, but that requires obviously getting a mill, which is 2,500 gold that we don't want to spend. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look as well for rice. Rice, it says we need three rice in my checklist. Second verse, same as the first. Look up rice on the wiki. Yeah, let me just double check. So rice, you can craft rice from unmilled rice in a mill. But there's no other way to get it. We need it for maki roll, rice pudding, and mango sticky rice. One of which we don't have the ingredients for, or the uh, recipe for yet. But maki roll and rice pudding. I thought the community center was done. It is not done yet, unfortunately. We st we're still waiting on our cactus fruit. All right. Um. Yeah, so let's see. Rice pudding, you need rice for. And maki roll, you need rice for. As well as mango sticky rice, which is one of these suckers. But So it's going to be cheaper to buy the rice outright from Pierre. For 200 each, we buy three rice for 600 as opposed to getting a mill for 2,500 and milling all that stuff, right? Hey there, Casey Lee. Welcome. So, much as it's a bit of a pain to have to do this, these are necessary expenses, believe it or not. One, two, three, four vinegar, and three rice. I, need, I made sure to click extra slow just on the off chance that I, like, misclicked or something. That is an extra... What would, what would that have been? That was, like, 1,200 gold right there? No, that's, like, 1,400 gold. Oof. Ooh. It hurts just to even say that, just for these silly little cooking ingredients, but... It is what it is. All right. Uh, 288,040 is our new total here. Let me go and update the totals. 288040. Closing in quickly on that 300,000 mark. Let me go ahead and update the checklist as well. You got vinegar and you got rice. Perfect. Big spender. It's time. I'm glad you guys are so excited about it. It had to be bought eventually. Here we are. Hello, George, by the way. I feel he always comes in to do, uh, <laughs> to go to the altar of Joja, right? On Sundays. Two streams, two big expensive to, expenses to witness live. Very true. This one's a little less impactful, a little less, you know, flamboyant than the ones at the traveling cart, but... They're all equally necessary, so 
Let's go ahead and throw these in the fridge, which is where they need to be. I just need to be very careful not to make the same recipe with these, like, twice. You know what? Let's not throw them in the fridge just in case, because it can be a little volatile. We'll throw them in here. Just on the off chance that I, like, accidentally shift-click something. Did I say the altar of Joja? <laughs> the altar of Yoba, I mean? Oops. Uh, Freudian slip? This stream is sponsored by Joja Mart, by the way. Try try Joja Blue at your uh, at the nearest supermarket to you. Joja Blue, everybody. <laughs> Haley just says, "Go live your own life." Wow. She's forsaken us now that we've uh, sided with Joja. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I would never, I would never. All right, so that's salad, cheese, cauliflower. We can't do because we don't have access to cheese. Uh, baked fish, sunfish, bream, and wheat flour. Um, sunfish, bream, and wheat flour, by the way. We're going to need to do a little fishing by the looks of things here. We can, we can fish those up in the spring, though, the sunfish and the bream. So let's, we'll, we won't focus on that for right now. Sunfish and the bream. I like that it's only one fish on the plate, but then you gotta have two fish for some reason. <laughs> it's a little concerning. Cooking time, indeed. Indeed. Alright, parsnip soup we can't do due to a lack of milk. Uh, vegetable medley we can't do due to lack of beets. Uh, can't do this because of eggs or milk. Fried calamari we've already cooked once. Uh, strange bun. Wheat flour, periwinkle, avoid mayonnaise is the linchpin there. Alright, maybe we just won't be able to cook like frickin' anything. This top row is cursed already. Fried mushroom. The morel we don't have access to. The pizza, we don't have access to cheese. <laughs> Two green beans. I can do that once the green beans grow. Uh, yam and sugar. Also can do that once the yams grow. Four carp. Carp surprise. It's been such a meme, but do we actually have the carp to make that? When the cooking show is underfunded. Uh, we don't have the carp, so we'll have to do a little more fishing. So we need sunfish, bream, and carp. For all this fun stuff. Let's see. Pancakes, we don't have eggs. Uh, okay. Salmon. Amaranth, we don't have kale. Alright, we don't have mayonnaise or red cabbage. Good. Uh, largemouth bass, wheat flour, and oil. Holy heck. Do we actually have the ingredients for this? Largemouth bass. I'm like 90% sure we have a largemouth bass in here. We do. We have three of them. Oh my god. We can actually cook something? We can actually cook something for real. That's a crispy bass right there. Yummy, yummy. A little plus 64 magnetism in my tummy. You know what? I mean, do we taste it a little? No, we'll store it. We'll keep it for... I mean, I don't know where we're going to store all this food realistically, but... All right, we actually cooked something today. Oh my god. Can you believe it? <laughs> Pepper poppers. We don't have cheese. Uh, bread. That's like easy. That's the easiest one by a... By a by a landslide. All right. Bread is no problem. Uh, Tom Ka soup. We don't have the recipe. Rainbow trout and green algae. I think we didn't we save a rainbow trout. I'm like pretty sure I had that in my mind that rainbow trout was a necessary fish. Yeah, we do have a rainbow trout here. Rainbow trout and what was the other thing? Green algae. Uh, I don't remember if we have green algae in the fridge or not, so we'll just grab one here. Thank you, Rebescapades, keeping keeping track of the fish that we need for uh, for cooking. Appreciate you. All right, trout soup. Send it. Little fishing buff if we need it. We are going to be doing some fishing in the near future, so who knows? But I mean, the fish that we need to catch are not necessarily you know top of the line. Uh, chocolate cake, no eggs. Pink cake, no eggs. Rhubarb pie. We don't have. Wait, do we have rhubarb? Rhubarb. No rhubarb is a. Uh... Rhubarb's here. It's mixed seed on Ginger Island. Alright, no dice. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. Alright. This is the worst co cooking show so far. We just don't have any of the ingredients. Man. It's like when I go through the actual cookbook like that I have at home and like it calls for like arugula and or oregano and I'm like, I don't have these fancy things. I, what can I make with like two eggs and some salt? <laughs> All right, uh, rhubarb, okay. Cookie, we don't have eggs. Spaghetti. Spaghetti? 
Ooh, what's this? Oh, didn't we turn? We turned all the tomatoes. We're like growing more tomatoes, so we can't do that. <laughs> Rip. Uh, fried eel. An eel and some oil. Say that five, five, five times fast. Eel, oil, eel, oil, eel, oil, eel, oil, eel, oil. It's not actually that hard, apparently. Okay. Um, little plus one luck. Don't mind it. Salty eggs. <laughs> What can I make with some mayonnaise and two slices of bread? All right. Spicy eel, eel and hot pepper. I don't think we turned all our hot peppers into seeds, but do we have another eel is the real question. We don't, we only had the one eel. Can't I use a lava eel as a substitute? Just put a little extra panache on it? Come on, it can't be that specific. All right, we're adding eel to the list of things to catch. I don't, it, that's a spring fish, right? Eel. Does it say? A large, slippery little fish. I think it's a spring fish. Alright, moving right along. So, uh, Maki Roll. Any fish, seaweed, and rice. So we, this is the one that we need, one of the ones that we need rice for. Any fish. Any fish, you say. Might as well use one of the least valuable ones that we have. Okay. Any fish, and what was the other thing? Uh, seaweed. Seaweed. This seems good to me. Let me just make sure there's no fish in here that'll accidentally get used in its place. I think the lava eat, I mean, it, I hope it counts. It's a fish, right? Fish, seaweed, and rice. Take the legend for it. Y'all really want me to turn the legend into a Maki roll? <laughs> Spring at night in the rain. Thank you. That sounds familiar, Karita, for the eel. All right, we're turning this uh, lava. This is the, the, going to be the, the most high-end, top-of-the-line Maki roll that you've ever seen. This isn't your average grocery store sushi or gas station sushi. This is something you go to uh, one of those nest restaurants you can't pronounce the name for. There it goes. Maki roll. Done. <laughs> Moving right along. Uh, tortilla we did. Red plate, we don't have access to red cabbage. Uh, bees were growing extras of, the tomatoes at least. Um, don't have milk. Don't have milk. Don't have eggs. Yam and pumpkin, we're waiting to waiting on those to grow. Don't have milk. Uh, don't have cranberries or bok choy. No cranberries. No cranberries. No eggs. Uh, bread, cave carrot, and eggplant. Don't we have extra eggplants, or did we turn all our eggplants? No, we do have eggplants here. Can we get some eggplant emojis in chat? This one's actually, it's, this is the rare time you get to use an eggplant emoji, and it's not, like, for anything nefarious. It's actually for real eggplants, so take your chance now. Survival burger? Send it. All right. There we go. The eggplant. Thank you for the eggplant emojis on our eggplant burger. Miner's treat. Cave carrot, sugar, and milk. We don't have milk. Uh, four green algae. You don't need anything else for algae soup. You just mush up a bunch of algae into a bowl. That's actually the grossest thing I've ever heard. I thought carp surprise was bad. Who gave me this recipe? I feel like this was a Clint original, wasn't it? Yummy, yummy. It's a little, it's, it's a little slimy. You don't freaking say. Oh my god. That's the worst. But it's done. Alright, pale broth isn't much better. <laughs> Not much better by a long shot. Let's go grab the white algae. Only need two of it this time. This kitchen is going to be quite... There's going to be quite the amalgam of smells in this kitchen after we're said and done here. Is all I'm saying. Alright. Uh, pale broth is done. We don't have milk. We don't have kale. Uh, don't have milk. Oil, vinegar, and radish. We do have radishes, don't we? I don't think we turned those into... Oh, no, we did turn those into seeds. Yeah, because we're doing polyculture. Okay, so we'll wait on that. I don't know why I'm always so lost in these tabs. Uh, blackberry cobbler. We just need two blackberries for that. That should be easy. It was Clint who gave us that recipe. It, it's, it's, I mean, this is definitely, just looking at the sprite alone for this, 
and what algae soup is, you just know it's gotta be Clint, right? He probably eats that for breakfast every single day because he hates himself. Alright. Black, ba Blackberry Cobbler, on the other hand, I can get behind that. There's nothing quite like it. I feel, I've never had Blackberry Cobbler in real life, but I do love blackberries. Alright. Uh, cranberry candy, we don't have cranberries. Don't have tomatoes right now. Don't have red cabbage. Uh, don't have fiddlehead ferns. A poppy, wheat flour, and sugar. We have a poppy in here. I think this is exactly what we have the poppy for. Let me make double, triple, extra sure that we have extra poppies. We have an extra poppy seed. Are we confident enough in that that we don't need poppies anymore? I think so. I mean, I can. It's, worst comes to worst, I'll always grow. I can just grow that poppy, and uh, and seed maker, right? So not a big deal. Poppy seed muffin. Give it to me. Give that one to Penny on her birthday or something. Is no one else gonna post eggplants? You don't want to be the only one posting eggplants. That's that's a bad look. Even though I called for it, so that's my that might be my bad. All right, chowder. We don't have milk. Uh, we don't have tomatoes right now, but everything else here we should be good for. Snail and garlic. We don't have garlic. Oh, uh, we don't have milk. We don't have eggs. Uh, we don't have tomatoes right now, but we need to make sure to hold on do a wild horse radish for that. Ooh, pardon me. The rest of this is Ginger Island stuff. Squid ink ravioli. We don't have tomato. You need a lot of tomatoes for stuff, huh? Concerned Ape is a big tomato fan, apparently. Squid ink ravioli. So we need squid ink, and we need uh, a tomato for that. I don't think we have any squid ink on hand, do we? I need to go kill some squid kids, or alternatively, a uh, squid fish pond, but probably one of those is easier than the other. All right. Definitely don't need to hold on to all this, but you know what? We might as well, just for posterity's sake. Who knows when we're going to need some pale broth, right? Alright, so that's pretty much all the cooking we can do right now. We need to either wait on access to milk and eggs for most of these, or we need to wait for our polyculture stuff to be done, so... Otherwise, uh, that, that honestly didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Tomato is everything. Tomato is in everything, apparently. Alright. Beyond that, I think we're honestly good here. We're good to go. Good job, Tim Beeb. Here's to another good year, Tim Beeb. This is... It's been a little overshadowed by everything else we've been doing, but this is the last day of the year. Can we get some party poppers in chat? Happy New Year. Year 6 coming in quickly here. It's been a good one. See you all on the other side. Just making sure. Just going through the the checklist in my head that I always do. Not that there's that much left to do anymore, any, or anymore, but uh, garbage we already did, so... Happy freaking New Year. Sell some tea leaves to celebrate and a maple seed. Why not? Here we go. Day one of spring, year six. Oh my goodness. Serenade the New Year. All right. I'm going to go ahead and update, exclamation point year. I've already got Nightbot open here, so I might as well just use this instead of the actual thing. Last chance to use year before it gets updated. Get it in quick while you can. And now it's too late. Flip, what the heck? Flip back open to chat here. Oh, I was a little faster than you guys on that one. The stream delay let me let me get the current in-game year in there before you could make light night make a liar to Nightbot. Alright. So being the first year or the first day of a new season, we obviously have some farm cleanup to do outside, just a bunch of debris. And then we just uh, carry on with our lives, right? Go ahead and take care of business here. Man, 
and I'm telling you, that golden clock cannot come soon enough. This is pro probably like the least interesting of any of the chores we ever have to do. I always dread the start of a new season specifically for this reason. I'm a poet and I didn't know it either. Okay. We could also do some mixed seeds this spring, but I don't know if there's any crops that we benefit from in that regard as far as like polyculture or cooking. There might be, but my brain is currently turned off after everything we just did. I need I need a little break from thinking, so I'm just going to mindlessly chop these logs. Haley's ready to have some fun. I'm with you, Haley. I'm with you. Let's make this let's make this fun. Not that this is not fun, but uh, not that not like the not that cooking and polyculturing has not been fun, but it's time to get back into what everyone is really here for, searching garbages mindlessly. You like farm cleanup? I mean, you and I are different breeds, I suppose. <laughs> it is satisfying seeing at the end of the day once the farm is cleaned up, don't get me wrong, but the actual process of doing it, it's a little bit like pulling teeth. It's like, I don't wanna. You gotta do it. I don't wanna. By the way, apropos of nothing at all, I saw that Therm was going live with his uh, Road to Perfection series, basically at the same time as, as my stream started. How is he doing on his end? I haven't caught up with uh, with his perfection progress, but I imagine he's probably farther along than I am. He's probably at Ginger Island a long time ago and, and tearing things up there, so all the power to him. He might more do do more cleanup than Linus at this point. Or do more trash digging than Linus at this point, yeah. I don't know what Linus' resume is like. He's he's lived a longer life than Chloe for sure, so he's had more years to search the trash, but Chloe has more dedication. She's doing it every single day. I don't see Linus putting in the hours out here, unless he does it in the middle of the night, I guess. Hey Zapdos Games, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. That's very, very generous of you. Gotta go to work soon, but I'm glad to see you're still around and streaming. Sub for the no level up video. I'm glad I did. Glad to glad that you decided to drop into one of these streams after that video. I think that you're in the same camp as a lot of people here who came in from that video, and I gre greatly appreciate it. Put a lot of work into that video, and glad it uh, glad it paid off. Glad you enjoyed it. Keep up the good fight. Have a good day at work, and uh, thank you again. What are you doing with the rest of the farm space, Argon? I'm vibing. Is that going to be a problem? I'm just, I'm just vibing on my farm. We're just, it's a, it's a beach farm. It's going to be the nicest, longest beach, outside of Long Island Beach. Is Long Island Beach like, is okay? I need to know, for my own personal curiosity. Now that I brought it up, Long Island, right? Is it named specifically because it's a Long Island? Or is it, is the, does the word long, does the long part of that name derive from somewhere else? Like it was uh, first established by the Long family back in whatever year. Blowing up kegs when? Blade, you missed the, you missed the poll earlier in the stream. We had a 53% margin victory for people wanting to get rid of the kegs or not. So we're, we're keeping the kegs. I do appreciate the anarchy, though. <laughs> Bombs would have been the way to do it, for sure. What the heck? Oh, inventory full. That's why I can't uh, get any of this stuff. Alright. Put all this fun stuff away. Because if, honestly, like, going back to the Long Island discussion, if it was named after just being long, that's the kind of naming system that I'm here for. Just name things after what they are. Obviously, that's not going to be, like, a foolproof solution to everything, but having so many different names for random, like, stuff that you just need to, like, remember instead of just looking at it and being like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not Thanos. That's just Big Purple Man. Big Purple Man? My favorite, vi my favorite, uh, my favorite villain of all time, Big Purple Man. Google says it was named because it was indeed a Long Island. I'm happy to hear that, honestly. We need we need to take inspiration from Long Island. 
Oh, also, I don't think, uh, I didn't see anyone mentioning this, but, uh, we do have, I'm pretty sure, all, yeah, all these kegs are freaking ready to go. Not that we're selling any of this stuff, but it's good to have a nice little collection, right? In New Zealand, we have North Island and South Island. Hell yeah. Let's just name them all. Like, like, why don't we just, like, take a take a cue from like math and stuff you know and we'll just name things like uh like you got north island and south island if we come across another island that would be that's like northerly just name it north island 2 and then like north island 3 north island 4 give them each their own special like bespoke thumbnail you're good to go and they asked some guy named stewart to name the smaller island even more south did he uh did he was he narcissistic and named it Stewart's Island, or did he name it as it should have been, like, Souther Island or South Island 2? Either of these are acceptable. All right. Beautiful stack of 123 iridium wine. We're set for the next 123 luas if it takes that long. Let's go get some garbage. In Michigan, you got the upper and lower peninsulas. That's pretty good too, but I don't know if it's as uh, as good as North and South Island because, like, upper and lower in relation to what, right? Like, obviously, like, most people are familiar with, like, the North Pole being in the North and the South Pole being in the South, but that's, like, it could be, it could go the other way around, depending on just, like, what perspective you're looking at. Might be nit nitpicking at that point, I suppose, but say la vie. Imagine how easy geography quizzes would be. Exactly. I'm just I'm just looking out for all those geography students at the end of the day. Let's not forget, by the way, that we need to look for a leek and a dandelion in order to make in order to cook salad at some point. It's not integral to do it this exact day, but sometime during spring is probably a good idea to invest in that. Just woke up, what are we doing? Well, uh, good morning to you, Sophia. Or potentially good afternoon, depending on when you woke up. Or good evening, I mean... It's not my place to, to make that call. Uh, right now, we've done a lot of cooking this stream. We've, we're working on our polyculture achievement as well. I just found a bunch more trash. So I'm going to type that in chat, just so you know. More trash. 3,800 garbage cans. Still no cactus root. And we're just carrying on from there. Also, don't think that I forgot to check these artifact spots on the beach. We're still looking for our ornamental fan. Oh, you know what we should do today? We should do some, some fishing, right? We need uh, the sunfish. We need the bream. We need four carp and an eel. And a, and a dried starfish, apparently. You know what? No, I'll, I'd rather I'd rather do that. Yeah. Two hundred more until we give that prismatic shard to Haley. So true. So true. What are you doing down here, Lewis? It's a good season to start thinking about gardening, even for us non-farmers. Do what you want to do, man. I, does, he like gardens like year round, though. So I don't know. Like his garden's already set up here. What a weirdo. Let's go to Crystallarium Town, also known as the Quarry. So eel, I know it was brought up earlier in the stream. I'm just thinking about the fish that we all have to catch uh, for like the recipes that we're making. Eel, was it um, was it a rain fish or is it just a nighttime fish? Or is it night and rain? It could be both. I I distinctly remember it being difficult to catch, but it's been a while since we've done any uh, any actual fishing, other than the legend. So it's uh, a little fuzzy in my memory. There's our, there's our dandelion, by the way. 
Night and rain, so we have to wait for a rainy day. Okay. Good to know. The rest of the fish I think I uh, have in my memory well enough that I should be fine. I think we might be past the, like, the sunfish. The sunfish is only until, like, 6 p.m., I think, or it's, it's only during the day, so I'm pretty sure we're already past that. The bream, I think, is nighttime in the river. I'm going to go ahead and deposit this. I guess we don't want to deposit it in there, probably. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the dandelion up here, because we're going to be using it for cooking. Yeah, the bream is nighttime in the river, and the carp is just the mount mountain lake anytime. So let's go do that. It's been a it's been a while since we've done some fishing, but it is my favorite skill in the game, so I'm happy to happy to have the opportunity. Any excuse to cast out my line again is a good one to me. The rare fishing stream. These don't come around that often. Enjoy it while you can. See how long it takes to get a bream. I don't think they're that uncommon, right? So, sewer has easy carp. You know what? You you make a you make an excellent point there. Ooh, new record, new moon record. That's a that's a big old smallmouth bass right there. I I skipped past exactly how long it was, but. Why are you giving Haley a prismatic shard? So we had a long-running bet going as to whether or not we would get the cactus fruit before 4,000 trash cans. We're currently around 3,800. Which means that in a little less than 200 garbage cans... There's our bream, by the way. In a little less than 200 garbage cans... Might be, might be showing up at Haley's doorstep with that big glittering boulder. Trinkets and baubles. Not looking forward to it by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm a man of my word. This might not be the best uh, place to look for carp specifically that we're going to be eating. <laughs> now that I really think about it, but you know what? It's good If it's good enough for Krobus down here, it's good enough for me. As far as I'm concerned. Isn't it a hated gift though? That is that is the uh, that's the unfortunate reality. That's why it's a con that's why it's a consequence for making it to uh, four thousand. Not only does Haley hate it, but it's also extremely rare. <laughs> At least for us right now. Once we get to the Skull Caverns, we're probably gonna be swimming in them. But for right now, we only got the one. We did we did manage to snag a second one, luckily enough. But we, did, we gave that one to the museum, so we still only have the one to our name right now. Haley's got some trust issues this stream. What did she say? Promise you'll never ever lie to me again. Oh, she, yeah, she said that earlier, too. You guys are wearing her out. I don't, I don't know what we lied to her about. I'm still not uh, convinced that we that we did. We get to 5,000, give Haley hated gifts for the whole week. I don't know if we're going to go down that same route with when we get to 5,000, or if we get to 5,000 trash cans. Maybe this isn't the best place to search for carp, <laughs> now, that I, now that I'm down here. Feels like the best place to fish up algae more than anything. But we will have a new consequence for sure for 5,000 when it comes to pass. Ideally, we won't ever have to face that reality, but I didn't think we'd have to face a 4,000 reality either. A little double carp action. Ooh, nice, nice, not bad. Sing the entire Hamilton soundtrack. I wouldn't want to step on Blade's toes like that. Who knows? I'll have to, I'll have to think of a good uh, of a good 
consequential goal for 5,000 trash cans. There we go. Man, we got a... It took a little while to get there, but we did get a nice run of four carp. Actually, I think it was just a run of three carp, but... Either way, we got four in the end. How are you doing, by the way, Krobus? Might as well say hi while we're down here. Did you know that Cro Guys, did you know that Krobus means bread crotcher in his language? I just learned that today. I've never heard him say that before. So Such rare dialogue. I can't believe it. gonna have to I like I was think I've been thinking about making a like an exclamation point Krobus similar to exclamation point Haley to give us Krobus quotes but now I'm thinking I all I have to do is do exclamation point Krobus and then just put in there Krobus means bridge crosser in, in our language because that's all he ever freaking says <laughs> what a Chad all right he just really wants you to know go ahead and put away our Bamboo pole, and let's do a little bit of late night cooking with Chloe. I don't think we need, uh, we don't need the smallmouth bass, so we can actually just, like, sell that. Sell this, this, and this. The bream, we actually need the sunfish as well in order to do the recipe that that one calls for. But the carp, we should be able to pull out right now, right? Little yummy carp surprise. Great midnight snack. Yum yum. Who doesn't want just, you know, four carp? You know what? Chomp that down right now. I don't want that stinking up my house, so enjoy, Chloe. Yikes. All right, we're off to bed now. Go to sleep for the night. Yeah. Don't be so mean to him. Don't be so mean to Haley. I don't, I don't remember if you're mean to Haley or not, Karita, but <laughs> just, you know, as a general rule. Nah, uh, Krobus is my guy. I like him. Don't speak to Haley until you get the cactus fruit should be the next punishment. I don't know if I could, uh... <laughs> I, I don't know if I could hold myself to that one. I might just, like, forget. <laughs> I might just see her and be like, Haley, Haley! I don't know. I don't know if I could go on much longer if that was the punishment. I mean, I might, like, give up next stream after that. Wouldn't have a reason to live anymore. Well, that might be a little... a little far. <laughs> Wouldn't have a reason to play the game anymore. It's all about Haley. Always has been. Did you miss a day in the Deckering stream, or was I hallucinating? I didn't actually go back and check Vibe, but uh, it's it's good that you reminded me of that. I do I do need to go back and check at some point for sure. Okay, Blue Jazz get deposited. So now that the Blue Jazz has grown, I can actually do this the way I wanted to do it. Because if we're going to be organizing and making this greenhouse a little more pretty once this polyculture thing is done, I think what I want to do is this might seem a little counterintuitive, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all this just so crops aren't growing out of like sync with each other. We're gonna go ahead and yeet all that to get rid of the speed grow. Then we go ahead and fix it up like so. Man, it would be nice to have upgraded tools at some point in my life, but <laughs> we're never gonna get there probably. And now I think what I do is I'm going to go ahead and put jazz seeds. We're going to grow just a bunch of jazz seeds right down the front here. Then we'll get some corn, and we'll do some corn seeds as well. And we'll do the corn in this second row, so we need, what, like five more corn seeds? So let's just do, we'll put two of these in there for right now and see how that does for us. You know, we'll do three just for extra insurance. You can also switch to Iridium Sprinklers. Yeah, but that's, like, too much work. <laughs> Maybe that's folly on my part, but I, I don't feel like the Iridium Sprinklers are necessary. I like the symmetry we got going on here, and I feel like Iridium Sprinklers, it's harder to be symmetrical with them, if I remember right. All right, we do that. What do you need to make speed grow again? Because I would like to speed grow those, uh, those blue jazz, so we need 
oak resin and coral. Coral, coral. Isn't that is that a Walking Deadism? I've never heard of. I've never seen The Walking Dead. Isn't there a guy that goes like Carl, Carl? I feel like I've heard that meme before in my existence. All right, a uh, little bit of coral. How much does it make? It makes like five per thing. Speed deluxe speed growth. So we probably need two. Uh, yeah, we'll do it like we'll do it like that, and then double oak resin. Boom. Is done. I'm gonna go grab the watering can as well. I need to water the, some of those crops, and then uh, let's head back. Jesse, we need to cook. That's definitely not Breaking Bad. I think that's I think that's a different show. Can't quite pinpoint it, you know. There's so many out there. <laughs> Have you ever done a playthrough siding with Joja? Only the one time in order to show it off for the uh, start of the no level up video. Otherwise, no, I've never done it, like, naturally. Perfect. Alright, and we can go ahead and put away these blue jazz seeds. And I think we're good. None of these are ready to, ready to go yet. Just gotta let it grow. Have a good one there, Saffron. Thank you for tuning in. Alright. Let's go ahead. I think we're taken care of here, right? So we just go do trash now. Yeah. Greenhouse is shaping up nicely. Uh, oh, you know what we do? You know what we do now? I forgot. I almost forgot. I was thinking that we were finally back to our trash grind, but no, we need one last thing. We actually need two more things, but the eel is uh, a little more time sensitive than this, but we need a sunfish, so let's have this on hand. Just finished the Titanic Lego set. That I mean, just by the name alone... Like, Titanic, obviously you mean the Titanic ship, but, like, Titanic is a, is a big ship. That's got to be a lot of Lego. I would imagine you'd be pretty tired after that. Wait for it around the corner. Okay. Are you a, am I a fan of Lego, though? I am, uh... I, I like Lego in, in concept, for sure, but I've never, uh... Never done much with Lego. One of my managers back in the day at one of my uh, jobs was really big into Lego. She had like so many different like bins of Lego and she would talk about it. It was like uh, it was a big thing. Pop on down to the beach real quick. Need this stream to calm down after the stupid jumping puzzles in Elden Ring? I haven't run into any jumping puzzles in Elden Ring I don't think. I'm a little afraid. Platforming is not Elden Ring's strong suit, I'll say that. Even though they have an actual jump button now, it's better than it has been in any other Dark Souls games, but Elden Ring is not uh, not a platformer by any stretch of the imagination. Alright. Well, that's that. Now let's go fish up a sunfish real quick. And then we should be good to just head home. Actually, let me do more trash as well. What's the max year you will go to until you just can't do the cactus fruit trash runs anymore? Um, let me, let me consult my brain and see... My brain works kind of like a computer program, and it has run into an overflow error with that question. The number you have requested is too high to be uh, to be accurately calculated as a year in Stardew Valley. It exceeds the bounds of the game. I, ha I have the patience of a of a of a literal mountain. Or I mean, alternately, year ninety three, because we know that there's one in year ninety three, according to Blade. So, 
I can say that confidently without uh, <laughs> without having to worry about going much much farther than year 93. The limit does not exist. Yeah, the limit is equals N A N, not a number. I'm physically unable to do jumping puzzles no matter the game. Some games are better at better for it than others, but I mean if you're not uh, if your brain's not wired for it, any kind of platforming game is gonna pose a challenge for sure. It requires a very specific sort of skill set and like the reaction times. Some are gonna be easier than others, obviously. Like, I wouldn't recommend starting with something like I Want to Be the Guy or Celeste or anything like that. Even like even like the original Super Mario Brothers game is probably a little steep for some people, but mostly, that one's mostly more due to controls than anything else. And there's our sunfish. Beautiful. Well, that was a fun little fishing stream. I'm glad we got to do all that all that lovely fishing. What do you have to say about it, Kent? Things haven't changed much since you've been gone. You, dude, you've been back for like five years. <laughs> Why you gotta keep talking about it? Dude? Like, just get... I kind of do wish that Kent's dialogue updated a little bit as the years got on so that he wasn't always talking about, like, the like making it sound like he just got back. But I guess, I don't know, I guess Concerned Dave never expected you to play much further beyond year two, so... <laughs> Who knows? Alright, so these two here, they were for what exactly? They were for the baked fish, so sunfish, bream, and wheat flour makes a nice baked fish. Sous chef! That was the 25th recipe! Yo, we had to work hard for that one too. We are now a sous chef? Where is it? Where is it? Sous chef cooked 25 different recipes. The next achievement we get for cooking is not for a while. Man, why does this one look so sad? You gotta love it though. Can you get some Argon hype if you got it? If not, you know, just uh, let your pogs fly. Finally caught the hardest fish in the game, the sunfish. Exactly. You completed Celeste side B included. Oh, so you're you're more uh, you're more into like 2D jumping games as opposed to like 3D jumping games. I got you. There's a diff there's different skill sets there for sure too. That makes sense. Argon, will you do a face reveal? Not uh not likely. I'm not gonna tell. I'm 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 not gonna get anyone's hopes up. It's not something that I'm really that interested in doing. But I, you know, never say never. I guess. Which is not something I'm super comfortable with. But it could happen. Alright, Daffodil. We go ahead and sell that thing. Sell that bad boy. Do a cat reveal. I posted pictures of my cat in the Discord, but also if you want like a unique picture of the cat of Minu, uh if you become a channel member, there is a there is a community post where I share a picture of her, so you can go ahead and have a look at that if you're if such a thing would interest you. I don't know if that's enough enticement for anyone, but if that's going to push you over the edge, you know what? <laughs> At least now you know. Okay. So the fishing is done. We cooked our big fish. Now we just go to bed. About halfway through the stream. I honestly thought we'd been going for like longer than that. Normally I look at the time and think that it's been uh that it's been less time than it has. But I guess this time we've been doing so much stuff that I felt like it should have taken longer, but it honestly doesn't take that long in the game, so it's uh <laughs> That's good. That's good. We still have plenty of time. New hat. You're you're actually right about that. The sous chef the sous chef achievement, it does unlock a new hat at the hat mouse. We also have a rainy day. So we're going to need to wait for it to be nighttime. What constitutes nighttime as far as fishing is concerned? What time do I have to wait for the eel to be catchable? Because that's the last thing we had on our spring fishing list. For uh, cooking purposes. Grab this just to have it ready. See, five, four, 
check the fishing channel on TV. You know what, Elizabeth, you're absolutely right. I have the tools to answer this question myself. Thank you for enabling me. All right. Uh, let's see. So none of those. Eel, 4 p.m. to 2 p.m. Rainy days ocean. All right, 4 p.m. is is the cutoff. We all learned a little something today. Except for the people who were already saying 4 p.m. in the chat. <laughs> Alright. Anything interesting going on here? It's hard. I don't know what so many of these crops look like when they're fully grown that it's hard for me to even know. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get there sooner rather than later. A little bit of a round roundabout way to get into the tree farm this time, but it works. So we got to bide our time today until 4 p.m. in order to try and get that eel. And then we'll head down to the beach to do that. In that case, we can do a little bit of uh, crystallarium resource farming, I suppose. Might as well get these smelting while I'm thinking about that sort of side of things. And away we go. What did we put in the greenhouse? We put in a bunch of different crops for the polyculture achievement, which is uh, ship 15 of every crop, exclamation point poly, if you want to see where we're at in regards to that. It's not a requirement for perfection, but it's uh, the only achievement on our achievement list that we would not have gotten otherwise. So in order to have that full collection, we figured, you know, just might as well put in a little extra work to get it done. That's one of the saddest Haley quotes, in my opinion, right there. You, I know we can't have a honeymoon. Your farm needs to be taken care of. It's so bittersweet. It just goes to show, like, how caring Haley actually is, though. Like, she knows we can't get married. She knows that the farm is, is Chloe's per first priority, and she's accepting of that. She's willing to be the bigger person in this regard, and it's, I mean, it's not easy to do. It really isn't. Are we grinding our cooking too? We are indeed. We've been doing a little bit of cooking this stream, but as we discovered when we tried to do it, most of the recipes are na are locked behind eggs and milk, which we don't have access to at this time, so we're a little bit stymied in that regard. However, we did what we could. We did what was available to us. Now that's a sad Haley quote, what'd she say? Life is so hard sometimes? Was that the one that like immediately followed up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Haley bot gets more sentient by the day. She really does. Okay. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of mining here. Shall we? I'll leave the fishing rod in there for right now, because we don't need it uh, at this exact moment. And away we go. Man, Haley's in a bit of a funk right now. She just follows that up with saying that's disappointing. <laughs> I'm disappointed too that we didn't get the cactus fruit, Haley. But you know what? We just gotta we just gotta carry on. It is a rainy day, so it kind of checks out. She doesn't like the rain that much, or at all, really. We're going we're going on a journey with these Haley quotes. She says, "Don't worry." Is she about? Is, is she? She things are looking up for her. Things are looking up. I'm ready to have some fun. How is this the perfect progression of Haley quotes? She's she's come to terms with the bad things in life, and now she's she's looking forward to to having some fun. Can we just get just like some smiley faces in chat, just some smiley emojis, or alternatively Ar Argon love if you got it? Just some good vibes. That's that's a great. Uh, that was a little story we went on with with Haley right there. That was great. So great that I might just, like, freaking die over it, apparently. <laughs> and now she's just back to her regular self. Yeah, we appreciate those good vibes around here. Man, I am sucking today. I'm looking too much at chat and just not, uh, not paying attention to the monsters that are assaulting me. Let's remedy this situation and get me the heck out of here. 
Haley's becoming Skynet. Is Skynet a Terminator thing? Another one of those movies that I've like never watched, but probably should. That one's like a, an actual classic. But I believe that's Terminator. With technology advancing how it is nowadays, do you think Skynet could actually like be a thing? I don't know the in ins and outs of what Skynet specifically is, but I get the general gist of it. Squire's helmet! I actually don't... Did we Have we gotten this drop before? The face is exposed to increase airflow. I think we have the knight's helmet from something else, but I don't think we have the squire's helmet. That's kind of exciting. Oh no, she's looping. She, <laughs> we went back to the, the sad honeymoon quote. Yikes. Nice little helmet to add to our collection at the very least here. Very, very nice to see. Like, with how fast technology advances, it's honestly, like, it's it's baffling to try and keep up with it. What's that event called? It's the Singularity, right? Where, like, uh, technology advances to such a point. I don't know if that, maybe that's more specific to, like, AI and stuff, where AI advances to a point where it's, uh, it begins to develop itself faster than we can develop it, and then things just go out of control from there. I don't know if that's necessarily what the singularity is, but I know the singularity is a term that's levied about in technological circles as something that we're fast approaching. Like, I think some people say, like, by the year, like, 2040 to 2050 will be uh, so technologically advanced that we will basically be at that point. Hard to say, but obviously the faster, the better technology gets, the more likely it is to get better faster, if that makes sense. Like, think how far we've come since, like, the year 1990. And then think about uh, the difference between, like, the year 1990 and the year 1960, which is, like, the same amount of time, basically. But the, the differences are so much more dramatic. Honestly, wild. It's a little scary to think about sometimes, too, but it is... Uh, I think it's just a fact of life, and I'm not pro, like, all technology, necessarily. Or all applications of technology, realistically, but... I think you gotta learn to accept that the changes are coming, and that uh, you should sort of learn them and adapt to them. Or at least accept them and understand them to a certain degree. And I think you'll be a lot happier. Ultimately, depends if he if humans give AI the tools to, to run humanity, <laughs> or to turn on humanity. To an extent, maybe, but also like a sufficiently advanced AI could develop those tools itself. Not to get too sci-fi about it, but <laughs> sci-fi is becoming a lot less a lot less fi and a lot more sci in the in recent times. All right, it is just about. It is actually just ticked over exactly to 4 p.m. So let's go ahead and sort out our inventory here. I'll bring the Squire's helmet with me just to bring it home. And we'll head down to the beach. Do a little eel fishing. We could do it on our farm as well, but I think it's more likely to... Or we're more likely to catch ocean fish from the ocean itself than the beach. I believe that's a correct fact. Oh! I didn't know we had any hard events left in us. It's it's the rare hard event. Holy crap, Sebastian. What's he got to say here? Surprised to find you out here in the rain. It's all right, I got my drying pan on, so we're, we're all good. Ooh, getting a little brooding with it. I hope they come this way. It's already raining, dude. There's got to be dark clouds above us already. I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. Too relatable, my dude. I don't feel that way around you, though. Especially when you're wearing this lovely outfit. 
We're getting soaked. Aw, that's a heck of an umbrella. Holy crap. There's room for two. Just don't tell Haley, okay? Look at us inch closer so slowly. That was nice. That was a sweet little event. I don't remember that one, honestly. I mean, it's kind of a harder one to come across, I guess, because it's got to be, like, raining and you got to go down to the beach and stuff, but... That was sweet. I appreciate it. Was that a Pokemon reference? The drying pan thing? I believe so. I think that's what Brock says, right? <laughs> Sebastian brooding? Aw, oh, never. Of course not. That's not what we that's not what we know him for. Is this already the eel? It feels like a like a bit of a feisty one. I remember the eel being like slightly feisty, but not too bad. Alright, I, I, I felt like I'd be here for a little longer than that, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> we will take it. Sorry to sorry to dash anyone's hopes who was uh, hoping to have a little bit of a longer fishing experience than that, but there we go. Taking a break? Never, sir. So maybe I should take a break. Get away and go upstate. We can all go stay with our father. If you take your time, you'll make your mark. Close your eyes and dream, and go and go with the night when the night gets dark. I think I'm like conf confusing a bunch of different lyrics there, but it's uh, you get the gist. He could have scooted over a little bit under the umbrella. Yeah, but like he doesn't want to, you know. Wink, wink. And a fine hoo to you too, whatever uh, frog or whale makes that noise. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this. What did we actually need this for? It was like spicy eel, right? Because we made fried eel. Spicy eel is the one that we actually have to make because we do have some extra hot peppers on hand. This is going to be a nice high quality uh, spicy eel too. Look at this. Not there, but right here. Beautiful. The best, finest quality ingredients. Put it away for right now. Save it for Skull Cavern or some some such thing. Was the cactus fruit found? Exclamation point trash. Not yet. I didn't mean to move the chicken statue. I just wanted to pet Tim Beeb. Oh gosh, it's all falling apart. <laughs> put it put it away. Don't touch it. All right, we deposit our squire's helmet. And we move right along. It's definitely a frog noise. It doesn't sound like any frog I've ever heard, but that's what everyone tells me. I've always thought of it as more of a whale call, but who am I to really say? We're going to sleep for the night now. Yeah, we're good. Gold star spicy eel. You can actually get a gold star spicy eel, can't you, if you cook it with G seasoning? It increases the quality of the food. I think like food is food like that is the only item in the game that can be like gold star quality, but no other quality, right? Like it's either basic or it's gold star. It's never like silver or iridium or anything. Or is it, is mayonnaise also like that? I feel like mayonnaise might be like that too. Because you can get, I know you can get gold star quality mayonnaise from ostrich eggs. But I don't remember. I, I I so rarely make mayonnaise in this game the way that I play it that it's uh, not something that's readily accessible information in my head. What the heck? Oh, I thought I I must have clicked the wrong chest there. All right, fish up these sea cucumbers. Nice and ready to go. You can put mayo in casks, really. Mayo isn't something I think that like ages well in real life, does it? Like, you don't age mayo the same way you would age cheese or wine, I would hope. <laughs> I feel like mayo is, uh, is its own beast. But I, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, aged mayo sounds terrible. That's exactly my thoughts exactly. Gross.
aged mayo sandwiches, maybe? I don't know. All right, so we got one done up here. This is radishes. We have seven radishes now. Exclamation point, Polly. Can I get the number of radishes that we need? I could just check my, my shipping ingredients as well. Don't we also need this for a, for a, a radish salad, right? That was down here somewhere. Radish, vinegar, and oil. So we can commit one of these to that. Might as well. Where are radishes in here? We need 12 radishes. This is not quite enough. So we're going to go ahead and use one of these for cooking. Might as well use the gold star quality one. And we'll seed maker the rest of this. Go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and grab one of our vinegar. Because we need that for this. This is one of the few recipes that requires the vinegar. And then radish salad. The radishes are so crisp. There's only one radish that goes into this, you freaking lying description. Radishes? I don't think so. Hold on, I want to make sure we use the actual gold quality one on this one. So let's go ahead. I don't, this is very... <laughs> but it doesn't matter at all. But, you know what, just to, for posterity's sake. Radish salad, there it goes. Beautiful. Alright, and we'll seed maker this last one. Put all this coffee up here. All right, let's go. Radish eye. All right, seed maker that. Grab all this. We got 11 seeds, so we, this last one is guaranteed to give us the 12th seed that we need. I would like to hold on to at least one radish, so having an extra seed just like that would be perfect. And let's go ahead and grow the rest of this. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to separate the radishes a little bit, I suppose. That's fine. And move right along. Yeah, vinegar is something we had to buy. We, we actually bought it earlier this stream. We bought all the vinegar that we need for every recipe, which was four vinegar for 800 gold total. There's no other way to get it. In before tomorrow, Stardew Valley 1.6 comes out, in which there's a crafting recipe for vinegar, or a cooking recipe for it. Could you imagine? What's vinegar made of in real life? I honestly could not tell you. I want to say, like, rice, but I don't know if that's actually... Well, what... let me think. Because there's things like red wine vinegar. So is is vinegar made from grapes? Or are there certain just different varieties of vinegar that are made from different things? Wait, Stardew Valley 1.6? I have no intel on Stardew Valley 1.6 if it even exists or is a concept. It's just, uh, it would be the next update in theory. There's apple cider vinegar. That's true, too. Is it just made from, like, like, vinegar is not alcoholic, is it? Pretty sure it's not. Different varieties of vinegar. If rice is vinegar, for sure rice, though. Yeah, it, like, rice already exists in the game, so that would be, uh... If that is an accurate statement. You can make vinegar from most things that would ferment. So what you're telling me is that... Anything in Stardew Valley could become vinegar if you just leave it for long enough. We're still looking for a leak, by the way. Maybe I'll check the, uh, mountain path up north, because I think leaks can spawn there relatively frequently. Or just the mountains in general, I guess. We'll do a little, a quick little nature hike. So we need one of them for uh, the salad, right? Make alcohol, then let it ferment a second time with access to oxygen or something. Oh, there we go. There's our leaks. Fermented cabbage. Does that mean sauerkraut can become vinegar? It would make sense. I mean, they seem they're in the same sort of uh, taste profile. That's for sure. Interesting. I've, I never knew that I would be so interested in vinegar production. But if there was a way to make it in Stardew Valley, I mean, that would be <laughs> that that would be something I'd definitely be interested in, in for sure. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit. Uh, 
We'll save. You know what? We'll s Ugh, our chest. This chest is so full. <laughs> There's probably stuff I could sort out in there, but for now, we'll just sell this leak. We'll go ahead and bring... We actually don't need this dandelion either because we already saved the dandelion. And for this recipe, salad, we need leek, dandelion, and vinegar. Let's go make it. Vinegar number two. Two down, two to go. Dandelion is in there already. Make some salad. It is a healthy garden salad. Why do you even need vinegar for this one? Like, don't force your vinaigrette dressing tastes on me, Concerned Ape. What if I wanted a nice creamy ranch? Get out of here with that, uh, with that foodist take. Or what if I just want, you know, a dry salad? Why can't I just make it from, like, a, a leek and a dandelion? What's your problem, man? Haley bot fed up. Did, did you guys tire Haley bot out? Is Haley not working? Alright, I know I, I should probably just head to bed, but we didn't get to, get to do any Junimo cart last stream, and I just realized the saloon is open, so we might as well make hay while the sun shines, question mark, while it's raining. <laughs> How you doing there, Gus? I feel like I always come in here and I never actually say hi to you. You look like you could use a beverage? Alright, well, that, maybe that's why I don't talk to you, because you try to coax money out of me. Quick little serenade of the cactus. Good luck next th next time. Creamy Ranch would, requ would, requ would, uh, would require milk. We'll get milk eventually, so I mean, that'd be better than vinegar, at least, for, uh, for our purposes. Alright. Junimo cart, it's time, baby. Crumble Cavern. I didn't even know the level, the name of this level, until I read it just now despite how many times I've been in here. This is going to be a deathless Junimo cart run. I know there's no achievement for it, but we might as well, you know, put it on our Stardew Valley resume, a little feather in our cap. And I've never even... All right, starting now, it's going to be a deathless Junimo cart run. Obviously, I've never even beaten... All right, starting now, it's going to be a deathless Junimo cart run. I know I've never actually even beaten Junimo cart, period, so it's a little bold of me to say that. But... I believe that we can do it. You and me, chat, we're in this together. I know I'm the one I'm the one steering it. Probably some of you would be a little better off at this. Show of hands in chat, who has beaten Junimo Kart progress mode before? Or alternatively, gotten uh beaten that Chi quest? Where you have to get fifty thousand points in Junimo Kart Endless. I will take either as a victory over Junimo Kart. I don't know what the instant rate of people, of Stardew Valley players in general, having done that is. I don't know how hard it's foreseen to be. We got it, though. I see no hands in chat, <laughs> but Ender just says I have, so I'll take that. Yeah, you can get milk from Sandy on certain days of the week. That's when we're, that's what we're going to be relying on for milk. It is... Theoretically, an endless supply of milk. It's just a little cumbersome to, to try and actually get. A little closer for comfort on some of those slopes, but we continue riding. One of my fa one of the coolest things to me about Stardew Valley is so many elements of it are like so they're complex yet simple like there's so much that like like theoretical strategy that goes into junimo cart and stuff like that but it's only one button the rest of it is all just pure level design and it, it the same goes for like fishing and i mean prairie king is more than one button but the amount of like simplicity that becomes complexity is really like just cool to see honestly I think it's a mark of a pretty good, pretty well-designed video game. In case anyone was wondering whether I thought Stardew Valley was a good game or not. There's my review of it. It's pretty good. Could do with more cactus fruit, but it's, um, beyond, that's, the, that's my only criticism at this point in my life. Nine out of ten needs more cactus fruit. 
That's not going to make it. <laughs> I knew the moment I made that jump that that was not going to work out. We also might be getting slomped pretty soon here if I don't avoid all the slime that I need to. That's that's probably a slomping right there. Yep. <laughs> it's so... Some of these jumps are so touchy, though. Like, look at how much slime there is here. It's that, like, That's the worst, is when there's a slimy, slimy ramp right before a jump you have to make. And what the heck... I thought there was a track there. No word of a lie. I, I was just totally blind, apparently. That's alright. The longer I get to spend this level, the longer I get to listen to the music. So, it's a strategical play to get my morale boosted. Yeah, I, I could tell I was getting slomped right there. Alright. So much for the deathless run, but we are going to make it through this level at the very least. Krobus gives void eggs when he moves in. That is true. He gives void eggs and void mayonnaise, but he al we can also get void eggs from a void salmon fish pond once we have access to void salmon. Which the only thing stopping that right now is, uh, as with so many things, the cactus fruit. So we'll complete the community center and have access to those post-haste. This is the first level where you really start to feel the speed increase, in my opinion. This is that this is like notably faster than even just the previous level. That was a little little bit of a poor jump right there. Well that was too, but you know what? It worked out in the end. We also somehow killed that ghost just by like reloading the, the level, I think. <laughs> Whatever works. I'll take any uh any boon you want to give me here. Uh, this is a little bit of a risky play, maybe? But, alright, we're good. We're making it. Could do with a checkpoint, just in time, perfect timing. And hey, you know, I mean, it's a little overkill. Alright, are you going a little overboard with the checkpoints? Is This this is too many checkpoints, I'm, I'm officially saying it. That was like five checkpoints right in the freaking row there, what in the world? And we're good to go. You can fish up Void Salmon from the Witch's Swamp, that is correct. Which is an area only accessible once we've uh, completed the Community Center. Your record in Endless is 15k, it's absolutely impossible for me. I've yet to try uh, going for any kind of record in Endless. I don't even know if I've actually played Endless mode. I feel like pretty much all my time in this game has been sunk into the Progress mode. But that's gotta be good practice for Endless mode, I would imagine. This doesn't just go through, like, the same levels, basically. Just, like, over and over. Oh my god, okay, well, <laughs> I was a little bit- I got a little spooked by that bowler. I'm not gonna lie, it threw off my jumping rhythm. There we go, made checkpoint, though. Just gotta focus. It's not that bad. This is actually a pretty decent layout for this level so far. And I just need to execute better. I need to be a better executor. And yes, I pronounced that as the Pokemon on purpose for no discernible reason. What? <laughs> oh, that's the end of the level. Holy crap! I didn't realize we were that far along. No, I'm getting. I'm. I'm, psych I'm gonna psych myself out here. I really am. Just focus. Don't even like talk. Just focus. We freaking did it. Did I, have I ever beaten that level? My, my palm's a little sweaty. I feel like I've gotten to this final level one time before. But it's not a common occurrence, I'll tell you that right now. Sunset Speedway. Looking a little rickety in here. We got four lives to our name. Let's make it happen. Why does it feel slower? Maybe it needs to be slower because, oh my god, these jumps. These jumps! That was cursed. That was a cursed start. All I'm gonna say. Freaking no music. They want you fully focused. Uh oh. I did that exact same thing. All right, let's let's. Come on. Don't let it psych you out just because it's the last level. It doesn't need to be this hard. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let's at least make the first checkpoint. Come on. Don't do this to me. Alright, like that. Yeah, that's a little better. 
Okay, okay, we're making some kind of discernible progress here. Just make that, okay. Focus, focus. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, we made that. I... Don't. Oh my god. No, what? Oh! What an anticlimactic way to go out. Oh. Just barely missed that jump by the skin of my little Junimo head. Dang it. Well, it was a good run. That was a good run. That was, that was good to get the rust off for sure. <laughs> so far though, good job. Thank you. That's the kind of positive encouragement that I that I appreciate seeing. I could run it back for one more, but I mean <laughs> I don't know if I can live up. I'm I'm a little I'm a little stage shy now. I got some stage fright. Go go to sleep for the night? I think so. Oh man, that was a great run though. We'll have, to, we'll have to run it back again. Have you drank water lately? You know what? Good point. Good point. Maybe I would have beaten that if I was w more well hydrated. <laughs> Do Junimos have teeth? I don't think they eat. So like, probably not. Although I I don't know. I can't speak for all Junimo all Junimos everywhere. I just feel like seeing a Junimo with teeth is a very cursed image, just in my head. Like one with a big old toothy smile. I don't think I like that. That level seems hellish. It's it it felt hellish for sure. That opening section, like it's it's it honestly doesn't seem as bad to me as the level prior to it. But just the, the sheer chaos of those, uh, EP Apricot, I would never. The sheer chaos of the layout of those tracks in the final level was just so mind-flooding. It was like someone took, like, an infant's, uh, crayon drawing and just applied, <laughs> applied the tracks based on the, or based on that, uh, an interpretation of those of those lines, and that's how it felt. All right, so we got amaranth there, but we need the scythe to actually harvest that. So let's go grab ourselves a scythe, a scythe even. OMG, Argon, are you a gamer? Not me. Could never be. What makes you think that I'd be any kind of pro gamer in any capacity? All right, I'm pretty sure we need more Amaranth than this, but just in case, uh, exclamation point Polly. Thank you, Piano Player. You're one step ahead of me. Uh, what do we got? Amaranth here. Amaranth. 14 Amaranth. Yeah, we're, we're a bit of a... a bit short on that one. We also need Amaranth for one of the cooking recipes, but I think it's better to invest in the seed makers right now. All right, eight seeds. We basically doubled our Amaranth right there. I'm here for it. Let's all collectively remember as well that uh, once summer gets here eventually, not going to be this stream obviously, but when we do get there we'll need to use mixed seeds in order to get more melons because we foolishly used our last melon. I think we used it to like, I don't even remember what you used it for, <laughs> to be real with you. Must have been something of great importance I would imagine though. Have a good one there, uh, Wim, Wim Slimbrook. Thank you for tuning in. Roller coasters and, and roller coaster and speedway are your favorite. They are like very high octane levels for sure. It's a great time to decorate a sign with fruit salad. You're so right. That's the exact thing I used <laughs> that our last melon for to make Haley's room. It always all boils down to Haley. If Haley told me to destroy all the crops that we currently have and get every seed that we possibly can out of the Skull Caverns instead of just the five, five we need, I'd do it in a freaking heartbeat. I'm too much of a simp, and I and you know what? I'm proud. 
little crit. Of course, there'd be a Joja Cola and the Joja garbage can. Not even they can drink this stuff. Exclamation point. More trash, by the way. An important sacrifice. You could say that. I, that's, the, that's the way I like to interpret it anyway. All right, we're going to run down to the beach because I forgot again. But we do need to check for artifact spots. Have a good one there, Zila. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day at work. Hope it goes, uh, hope you have a good one. We are looking for the ornamental fan and also, alternately, the rusty, the rusty anchor. I don't know if it's actually called the rusty anchor or if it's just called, like, the anchor. But in my mind, it will forever be the rusty anchor, so... Unfortunately, no dice today. <laughs> very, very good try there, Roysu. I appreciate you trying to mimic, <laughs> to mimic Haley Bot. Try and get my attention that way. That was that was a good one. You almost got me there. I was like, what? What kind of Haley quote is that? <laughs> The, the effort was there. That was a hundred... A, a for effort, for sure. Screw it. I'm a more trash. This is why we don't open it up to the average chatter. It's, just, it's, it's a moderator-only command. But I appreciate the gusto. You know what? We made it again to noon on this day, which which means that the saloon is again open. I know I said I wasn't going to run it back, but I've I've got that itch for Junimo card. I don't know what it is today. The rare second visit for Junimo card. Sometimes I've occasionally done a second run of Junimo card while I'm already there, but it's rare that I just like have such a an inclination. Like I just feel that just felt right, you know. It just it just seems right today. Let's freaking go. Not Prairie King. I already got... We got Prairie King at home, but, like, literally. Progress mode. Junimo Kart. It, we're in it. We're in it to win it today. This is the one. If I had, like, channel bets up or something, like, like this is a Twitch casino, this is where you go all in. Or actually, you know what? This is not the run where you go all in. I'll probably, like, fail really early on on this run. And then I'll be like, all right, now's the run where you go in. Because you very rarely have two runs that are, like, that good to get to the end of the game, back-to-back. Back. Like, like, if I had to put a number on it, I'll probably fail on the second level of this run. And then I'll be like, alright, well, that wasn't a good enough run, we'll try it again. <laughs> like, I know it's looking pretty good right now. Maybe I'm gassing myself up a little bit too much, but... It's, the, it's just the way things usually go. You can also, like, skip a level, I'm pretty sure, if you do the first two levels fast enough. Like, if you do them without dying, you might it might be fast enough in order for us to skip the third level, which is either Slomp Stomp or the Gem Sea Giant, which are both pretty nasty levels. So if we could make that happen, I'd be a big fan. You should offer a Gus, Gus an orange for good luck when you play Junimo Kart. You think he's got the power to rig the machines? I wouldn't put it past them. Also, if we use these ice, icy slopes to our advantage, we might be able to get a little bit of a time advantage to beat this level just that little bit faster. We shall see. I don't know if I've ever actually done it fast enough to skip the third level, but I've seen it done, so I know it's a, like a real thing. It's not just something I've made up in my head. Unless that was a fever dream. Not that I dream about watching Stardew Valley related videos, specifically by Charlie Barley. Never. Didn't she? She did. Like she did a Junimo Kart run, or was that at her stream that she did that? I don't remember. I've, I just know, I just know I've seen her play Junimo Kart a decent amount at some point in the past. Boom. Oh my god, we just sent it at the very end there, too. 
or you can try and get to the secret level. There's a secret level? So we didn't do that fast, because I think that's the path that you would take. How did we not do that fast? We didn't die. <laughs> we didn't die. We took all the icy slopes. How is that not fast enough? I'm that's that's kind of staggering to me, honestly. Okay. Well, there's our first death. We hit the checkpoint at least. Send it. Uh okay, we're good. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta put your faith in in the RNG and the bubbles that they won't screw you up too bad. Like so? Like so? Like he's a he's a golden god? Alright, let's not get too big for our own britches here. Has anyone on record beaten Junimo Kart Deathless, by the way? There's obviously no achievement for it, but has it been done on stream to your knowledge? Or on video, I suppose? Or have you done it personally? It seems like honestly, like even harder than uh, than a Factor's challenge attempt, because obviously there is a lot of luck that goes into into Prairie King. So Factor's challenge is not entirely skill based, but it's more skill based in my estimation than Junimo Kart is. In this one, like obviously these bubbles are are very very luck dependent. The layout of the tracks themselves are luck dependent. Which levels you even get comes down to luck. It's There's a lot that goes into it. It's, there's also skill in there, but you know of a streamer who's done it? it is it Habu? Is it is it Habu? He's the first one that would come to mind, but <laughs> perhaps not. I don't know how invested he is in, in being the best in the world to Junimo Kart. Or is it potentially Blade? Ooh, could it be Blade? All right, I'm gonna. I, I looked at chat and I was. It threw me. Threw off my mojo here. Let's get back in the game. Let's focus on our sets. Uh, okay, that was a little, little close for comfort, but we made it. Made it work. Good stuff. Good stuff. Single checkpoint, please. Thank you. Double checkpoint, even. We'll take it. Ooh, that was a little. <laughs> The jumps, oh my gosh, the jumps on this level are so wide. Do you see some of this stuff? Uh-oh. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. Just focus. You've made it through worse than this. Nice little easy flat section real quick. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, that was the end too. That was the end. We gotta send it back one more time. I'm sorry. I know that was pretty far into it. This is more Junimo Kart than I usually invest in. But come on. Come on. I need to I need to know that I can do better than this. I need to make it back. I need one more crack at the at the throne. Give it to me. I'm a, I've officially gone over the edge from being a Junimo Kart enthusiast to being a downright Junimo Kart addict. I need I need this in my life now. And now and now we begin the long downward spiral into eventually hating Junimo Kart for giving me terrible RNG. <laughs> Before this point it was just a game. Now it's personal. Now that I've had a taste of victory, now that I've seen how far I can go, it's my time. I'm miss, miss, missing all these fruit, which is not ideal. We take those. Best way to spend the stream. I'm glad you all enjoyed Junimo Kart, or that many of you do. I don't know if it's uh, necessarily something that everyone comes out for, but... It's fun. As long as I'm having fun, hopefully you're having fun too. I think I fall into that trap pretty often where it's like, I'm doing something on stream and I think it's going to be like boring to watch. But honestly, I can never think of a time where I've been watching a streamer and they were doing something on stream that is like, like technically probably pretty boring. Gameplay wise. 
But as, as long as they're having fun with it and they're into it, I'm usually into it too. It doesn't matter what it is. Like, they could be, like, filling out a spreadsheet or something. And as long as they're, like, invested in it, that investment trickles out to me. So I don't know why it would be any different for my streams. Oof, that was, a, that was an oof moment right there. So hopefully, hopefully that's something a lot of you can relate to. Otherwise, maybe, <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll just look over a chat and be like, nah, this sucks. I want, I want to watch you dig through more garbage cans. And I'll be like, you know what? Fair enough. But I mean, that should, that should be a testament in and of itself that I still get like roughly the same amount of viewers per stream, despite doing something as monotonous and mundane as going through that same cycle day in and day out of digging through garbage cans. That's how you got into crosswords, a very passionate streamer. I'd like to do more crosswords. I'm, I'm definitely a wordy guy, but pop, but crosswords are so... A lot of them nowadays are like very pop culture oriented too, and that's not my forte. But I could be persuaded for sure. I think they're fun, they're good little brain teasers. Not, not not like literal brain teasers, but like things that's you know keep you sharp. There's a reason that a bunch of that a lot of uh, older folks have a like there's a stereotype there for older folks doing crossword puzzles in the New York Times, right? Keep your wits about you as you as you age. It's an important thing to do. It's honestly why I like to do like Sudoku's and uh, and nonograms, Picross. Any sorts of fun little puzzles like that, I think, are... They're good They're good ways to pass the time if you got nothing better to do. You have good commentary? Thank you, Blazer. That's a, that's a very nice compliment. Alright, Ghastly Galleon. We're gonna make it through this one. This this is like the the skill check level, right? This is this is what separates the, the wheat from the chaff as far as Junimo Car players. Up until this point, you can get you can get here if you're like decently good and, and got some pretty decent luck. But if you don't have the skills and the and the and the rhythm, the reaction time to hang with the best of them, this level's gonna gonna be a tough one for you to get by. Case in point. Uh, okay. You gotta be able to read far enough ahead. That's not good. You gotta be able to react to the new newfound speed. You gotta not get mad when ghosts get in your way unnecessarily. Just because, you know, whatever script is controlling your life in Stardew Valley at this exact moment decided that you've been having it too easy. And it's time to throw you a curveball. What am I even saying anymore? I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta get into a flow state. And be who you are. No, what? Oh, <laughs> I definitely thought I jumped. All right, all right, chat, chat. One more, one more. We send it one more time. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Come on, Ghastly Galleon. We, we, can, we can beat it. We can surmount it. We've surmounted it in the past, on this stream even. We made it to that final level, and I need to see it again. That was... I, did, I didn't say anything about that, but that was very fortuitous boulder placement, by the way. Look at how far we've come as far in, in our Junimo's cart skill set. There was a time where it, it, it was a monumental occasion to get past this first level. Now I'm just, like, not even thinking about it half the time. Also, what does it really take to get that, like, to skip that level, like, the third level? What is the threshold that you have to beat? Because I'm pretty sure it's time-based, but I don't know how I can be any faster. Hey there, zombie, by the way. Welcome to the stream. The music is a bop, though. Absolutely true. Junimo Kart music is second to none.
Like, maybe it just comes down to, like, some luck in, in getting good, like, ice slopes on this level. Good long ones that speed you up nicely. I can see that. Because we all saw it. Like, I didn't die for those first two levels. I was using the ice to my advantage, but I still didn't get the... Still didn't get the level skip, so maybe there's more to it than I surmise, but... I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully I can make it through this level without dying as well, and then we can test this hypothesis together. Missed the grape there, but I missed the orange earlier on too, so it's not that big of a deal. And we go. If you jump while you're on the slopes, you go faster for longer. That's good intel. That's good intel. You get extra speed when you jump off the ice ramps. So I just need to I just need to do better about jumping on the ice ramps instead of just letting letting them coast. Okay. Got that? I'll lock that in my brain for next time and we'll have it ready to ready to go. If there is a next time, maybe we'll just like beat it right now. I mean, there will be a next time, because we'll do, like, Endless eventually. But as far as progress mode goes here... We just gotta send it. Alright, that's our first death, but you know what? It's a... It's a reasonable place to die, I think. That's not. <laughs> that was... That was I, I, it missed my input, dude! It missed my... I clicked, I swear I did! This, this game's busted! What the heck? Concerned Ape? Fix it! This is... That's... This is a bit of a touchy one. Okay, hold on. We, it was a death for the greater good. We had to get rid of that barricade or else we would have been in a in a tighter spot than we need to be. I don't think you make that jump unless you break that barricade. You probably you probably could have break, broken the barricade and hold hold the hold the phone. I'm not dying to slomp. I'm not dying to your stomp, sir. Uh I'm dying to your barricades instead is what I meant. All right. Maybe this that's a sign that uh, we need to call it. I'm regressing. My skill is not there anymore. But we'll come back. Junimo Kart, we have not seen the last of you. Maybe we've seen the last of you for this stream, but not the last of you by a long shot. By, by a long shot. Fear me, Junimo Kart. Me and my voice cracks. Sell that. Why did I hold on to 124 jades? What the heck is wrong with me? <laughs> these these belong in, in a quarry. I'm gonna run those back real quick. What recipes do you still need? All the recipes we need are either from uh, Sandy or Leo, two NPCs that we don't have access to yet, or we uh, get them from Ginger Island. By, like, either buying them or trading for them or something. If you're curious as to exactly which ones we're missing, though, I got you real quick. Tom Ka Soup. Uh, ginger Ale. I think this is uh, Banana Pudding. Mango Sticky Rice. Tropical Curry. And Poi. I believe those are the things that we're missing. All right, off to bed with us. Wouldn't Dark Souls no damage be easier than regular Dark Souls because you don't need armor? I mean, there that's one way to think about it. You could also think about it as uh, if you get hit a single time in Dark Souls no damage, you just have to reset the entire game. Whereas at least with armor, like, you can make real progress that is, like, permanent. <laughs> I don't know, those Dark Souls, like, no damage runs, they're insane. If you've ever watched, like, especially the ones where they do, uh, multiple Dark Souls games back to back to back without getting hit in any of them, it's honestly, like, mesmerizing to watch. Highly recommend it if you're into those sort of, uh, those sort of skill challenges. It's something I've thought about doing from time to time, because I'm pretty good at Dark Souls games. 
and I definitely like a good challenge run, obviously, so it's uh, it seems like it's a perfect fit, but I don't know. I'm almost a little too intimidated to even try it out. All right, we got artichokes up here. Three artichokes ready to go. Nothing else here is, is uh, ripe yet. Exclamation point, Polly. What do we need? How many artichokes do we need? I'm going to say it's probably more than three. What's your favorite track in Stardew? I like Sam's band, The Electronic Mix, but I need to listen more to some of the Ginger Island stuff in order to know for sure. 11 artichokes. Okay. So we go ahead and seed maker these. I would watch the heck out of you trying a hitless Dark Souls run. Oh no! <laughs> Mixed seeds! Yeah, we'll throw it in the uh, in the idea hopper for uh, for the future, for sure. For variety streams. Alright, we got five artichokes out of, like, three that we plant, out of the three that we put in. It is, but it is, you know what? It's a profit. I can't be too mad, but we also got four mixed seeds out of it, so it's a little... That's a little bit of a burn. But it's fine. We carry on. Are artichokes a summer crop, or are they, like, a spring crop? Or are they a fall crop, even? I mean, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Because I'm just thinking, like, could we invest in mixed seeds for, for some of these things? Because I'm pretty sure artichokes... You can get from mixed seeds. I just don't remember which season. It's fall. Artichokes are fall, so that's a, it's a little ways ahead of us. All right. Better off just investing in, uh, like, putting them in the seed maker over and over to get the 15 that we need. Or the 11 that we need now, right? Starting to feel kind of old. The older you get, the more memories you're burdened with. That's one way of looking at it, dude. Poor Harvey. He's really starting to feel it. We're only in year six, buddy. We got a long way to go. Don't get don't, don't go feeling old on me already. Alright, nothing doing from the garbage cans today. But what else do we expect? It's it's kind of uh almost goes without saying at this point. It's all right. We'll get there eventually. Don't you worry. Hope y'all are enjoying the stream today, though. Trying to spice it up by doing some some stuff that's not crystallarium harvesting or garbage can runs. We got the polyculture thing going. We got cooking going. And I hope you're having a good time and a good day. Whether you're ac actively chatting, lurking, what may what uh, m you may have, I'm just happy to have you here for the journey. Bailey says, "Say goat cheese." She's taking a picture. Everyone say goat cheese in chat. Goat cheese. I smiled in real life. I'm just that invested in this. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, Jenga. Thanks for the work entertainment. I do what I can. I do what I can. Oh, I forgot we don't have any like anything in our casks anymore. This is a little solemn down here now. <laughs> it's fine. What do you got for me? Oh, more money from Pierre. Don't mind if I do. Just free money. We never have to buy anything from that guy ever again. I guess we did buy the... Uh, the vinegar earlier on, the vinegar and the rice, so that rebate is actually kind of functional this time. Kind of appropriate. We got back, like, like half of what we spent. Which, I don't know if that's the best business model for Pierre, but I don't think we care about the best business model for Pierre. We care about the best business model for ourselves. And I think we're doing alright on that front. Turn that into a ruby room for spicy eels. Is that what you trade at the at the desert trader for spicy eels? Is rubies? I honestly don't know. 
I don't feel like we're gonna need spicy eels though. Like obviously I know they give you a luck boat a luck boost and a speed boost all in one, which is pretty nice. But if we're investing in lucky lunches, which are a plus three speed boost for the skull caverns. Or a plus three luck boost, sorry. And then we can invest in just like triple shot espresso for our speed boost. I don't want to overwrite any of that. It is two inventory slots as opposed to one, but it's also better boosts, so I think it's uh it'll be nice. Even though inventory slots are at a premium these days. Yeesh. Hey, Eliani Olivo, thank you for the 100 DOP super chat. I just want to say hi and bye. We'll go back to VOD number 8. All right. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate the support very much. Uh, enjoy the VODs. You got a long ways to go to get caught up if you plan on watching all of them, but uh, I believe in you. That two times speed hit playback button is your friend. I won't be mad, I promise. All right. Blue Jazz Day, baby. It's what I'm here for. Also, is that something I can harvest? No. Uh, these are, though. The strawberries are ready, and strawberries are regrowing, right? So we actually don't need to seed maker all those. Uh, what well, we do need, we do need to seed maker some of these, though. Let's not be resting on our laurels on this front. Alright, three strawberries. Exclamation point poly. What do we need, uh, how many strawberries do we need? We just divide it by three, and then we'll know how many harvests that we need to do. Play game good. <laughs> That's what it boils down to at the end of the day, zombie. You're, you're not wrong. Continuous strawberries. We appreciate the continuous strawberries. How many do we need? 14 strawberries? I can do that. We'll just go ahead and stack them up in here for right now. And uh, let it ride. Oh, I need to... Hold on. need to replant the blue jazz. Someone was gonna was bound to yell at me for that one if I didn't, so let's uh, take care of business right there. We have reduced capacity to only 10 blue jazz, but I think that's still more than enough to keep up with our sea cucumber production. I think we'll be all right. Bada boom. What are the blue jazz and the sea cucumbers for? They are, uh, well, exclamation, exclamation point FAQ, number one, because I think that question is answered in there, but they are for making lucky lunches, eventually. And Eliani Olivo, thank you as well for becoming a YouTube member. In addition to the super chat, my goodness, so generous, thank you so much. Uh, enjoy your emotes and your, your fresh sword. Careful where you swing that thing. And enjoy your stay, thank you very much. This is cool, the power. <laughs> you do you do have you do have a, a fresh green name and a little sword. Just uh, don't abuse the power. I do get thrown off a little bit sometimes when I Alright, we're not gonna talk about that. Uh, I, I do get thrown off a little bit sometimes when uh I see like YouTube members in the chat and they've got their like sword next to their name. Cause there's like other places where a sword next to your name means that you're a moderator. So it might have been a little silly on my part to make that the the badge. But it just seemed like the most fitting thing for right now. Maybe I'll think of something more fitting in the future and then we'll uh, we'll change it up, but for right now I think the sword progression will be will be fun. No artifact spots that I can see. Maybe check the flower thing to see if it's still empty. The tub of flowers? I did look at it in passing, I didn't really mention it, but it is, uh, it's is—it's back to being its springtime lovely self. I never never realized that the Tub of Flowers was a seasonal thing, but it, get, it makes sense, I guess. Unless we were going off the assumption that they were, like, artificial flowers. Who knows? Should be the Copper Axe of Wellness instead of a sword. Maybe Copper, then Iron, then Gold, then Iridium. That's also a thing I could do, I suppose, yeah, but... Alright, uh... Haha, <laughs> I'm a double member. You got, <laughs> you got the crossed swords right there. I appreciate it. You are missing the green name, though, so that can be a little, uh... <laughs> it, it's a, it, it could be a little bit of a giveaway. There 
It's all right. I've, I do have some ideas for other like emotes and stuff, as well as uh, new sub badges that I might do. Or member badges, I suppose. I say sub badges because I'm more used to the Twitch ecosystem. Just based on like where I view most of my streams, but... You know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Tomato, tomato. Isn't there a guy who checked the seed to know when you'll get the, the cactus fruit? His name is Blade. But I believe there is someone else who actually, like, reverse engineered the seed and knows that information as well. But they're, they're staying tight-lipped about it so far, as far as I can see. So I'm grateful for that. you have a favorite real-life fruit? I'm pretty partial to grapes myself. I think grapes are a, uh, a top-tier choice for fruit. I would go with cherries, because I honestly think I like the taste of cherries more than I like the taste of grapes. But the, the pit of the cherry brings them down so far. Like, if I can get, like, unpitted cherries, or pitted cherries, I suppose, like, like the pit's removed, that's, uh, that's definitely up there. But as they stand, just regular cherries when you buy them at the grocery store most of the time. Not quite doing it for me. The taste is definitely there, though. Should do a fruit tier list. There's too many fruits. It would take, like, a thousand years. <laughs> Although we could just do, like, the most common ones, obviously. Seedless grapes, top tier. Yeah, I don't like any grapes that have like a, like seeds that I have to like spit out of them or something. I have had that experience. It's not recommendable, I will say. <laughs> Seedless grapes are for sure the way to go on that one. Ailey's getting depressed again. Maybe she just has more like depressing quotes than I gave her credit for. I always think of Haley as so like sunny and bubbly, but obviously there's a, uh, everyone's got their dark days. Just eat the seeds. Accurate, accurate. I've always been told that if you like eat the like the black watermelon seeds, that that's like really bad for you. But like the the white watermelon seeds are okay. Can anyone confirm or deny this? Is is there something in a black watermelon seed that will be hazardous to your health? Like, if you eat apple seeds, they, they got, like, a little bit of cyanide in them. I don't think that's why you don't eat apple seeds, but, I mean, it certainly is not a good incentive to eat them. I don't know if watermelon seeds are the same way. Or if maybe it's just one of those things where my parents, like, didn't want me to eat the watermelon seeds for whatever reason. So they'd be like, hey, don't eat those watermelon seeds or else a watermelon's gonna grow in your belly. And little did they know that they started my, uh, intense fear of, like, body horror. At the at, by the by that simple statement. All right, eat yam. No, <laughs> as much as some people might want me to. All right, so the beans are regrowing. The yams are not though. Yams, we need quite a few more yams. Can I get an exclamation point, Polly? Do you play modded Sardi? I mean, we technically have a mod on this for this total spent thing, but in general, I have not played a lot of mod modded Sardi. You know. I reminded you of Azula's cherry pit scene from Avatar The Last Airbender. I, it's been a while since I watched it. I don't remember that scene. I do like Azula, though. She's one of my favorite characters. Let's see. So for yams, we need 14 yams. We're a little ways off there. And green beans, we need 14 green beans. We also need to save some green beans for the bean hot pot. I'm pretty sure that's the only recipe we need, but we don't need to seed maker these regardless. We'll seed maker these ones. We'll store the green beans. And then we will hopefully get more yam seeds out of this. Apparently eating watermelon seeds isn't a big deal, it's fine. That's a relief. Not that I'm like super invested in eating watermelon seeds. They're not the best part of the watermelon, I would say. If they're your preferred part of the watermelon, I mean more power to you. I think that's also true of that gum myth, right? Where it's like, they say that if you like swallow gum instead of spitting it out, that it stays in your digestive tract for seven years. There's no way that that's actually true. Seven years is way too long. 
Like, I could get that it would be hard, harder for your assistant to digest, but seven years? Are you freaking kidding me? If that were true, then, like, like you could, like, very easily kill yourself by just, like, swallowing, like, a little bit too much gum. And, and maybe there's a hazard there, I don't know, but it seems like, like, if you're gumming up, like, you could very easily gum up the works. You know what I mean? You totally digest gum. It doesn't get di digested. This is the dichotomy of chat. Swallowing gum ain't a big deal. I've yeah, like it's one that I used to believe back in the day because it just made sense in my head. We're going to the beach, by the way. But it's one in my recent years that I've come to realize is probably not true. You can roast any seed and eat it. Watermelon, apple, sunflower. Really. I didn't know. Sun sunflower seeds, I guess, are just the only ones that they, like, typically sell. But, you know what? I guess it kind of makes sense. I wonder, what, like, if they if they take on, like, the flavor of, like, whatever they came from. Like, if apple seeds roasted have any notes of apple. I'm curious about that now. I heard, I heard our digest, digestive du Ugh, can I say that please? Digestive juice enzymes are strong enough to destroy metal. I doubt gum could stay in there for seven years. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, I think. Like stomach acid is supposed to be like pretty, pretty rough. And then and then beyond that, like the stuff in your intestines obviously is, uh, is even more heavy duty in different ways, so. Pumpkin seeds are pretty good. Pumpkin seeds I have tried before, yeah. That's the other one that I've tried in addition to sunflower seeds. You can eat metal. Isn't there a guy who ate like a whole freaking airplane? Not in like one sitting, that's absolutely impossible I would imagine. But like over like the course of several years he like took off pieces of an airplane and just like slowly ate it. Is that a myth or like some kind of thing that I felt like a like a tabloid thing that I fell for or is that a real event that happened? Cuz I I haven't done my research into that one. It's just one of those factoids you come across and you're like, "Oh wow, that sounds like very fascinating." <laughs> yeah, you would have to eat a lot of apple seeds to get cyanide poisoning for sure. And a lot in like a very short period short period of time. Supply crate, indeed. A very, a very fruitful one as well. The artifact troves coming in clutch. Can we, like, tailor the artifact troves and make anything cool with them? I'm willing to give it a try. Let's find out together, shall we? Does this explain Abigail's penchant for eating ore? <laughs> It could, isn't it's uh, what's it called? Uh, pika? Is that the? That's like the disorder people get when they have when they're able to, or when they have a craving to eat things that aren't food. <laughs> the trinket shirt? It's a trinket. It's a shirt with large colored glass orbs attached to it. I'm a freaking Christmas tree. <laughs> I I look like I'm straight off a heart attack or something. What in the world? I kind of like it, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of fetching. I don't know if this is something that we're ever going to really use, but it's good to have the uh, the option available to us. Any any extra fashion accessories are good fashion accessories, in my opinion. Next year's Winter Star outfit? It, I could be persuaded. Especially if you could dye it green, but I don't know if that's a dyeable shirt. I would assume not. Maybe with the farm hat? Yo, you know what? The straw hat? You might not be wrong. Speaking of hats, you know what? I know it's uh, it's it's kind of out of the way. But let's go say hi to Hat Mouse. It's been, a, it's been a little while, and we have gotten some new achievements since we last saw him. I think we've, we haven't seen him since we got our 10 million Galler achievement, as well as our new sous chef achievement. So we might as well uh, see what new 
things he's got available to us. I mean, not available to us, but we can at least window shop for a little bit, right? What, what harm could come from this? What could possibly go wrong? Foreshadowing, foreshadowing. Haley! I forgot that it was Monday. She's too involved with her camera to notice us. Wait, take my picture. Take my picture. Right, I, uh, we'll wait here. We'll wait here for her. It's fine. Yay! She did it. There was like a butterfly in the shot and everything. That was too perfect. Get some Argon love just for, for Chloe and Haley. I did almost that exact same thing in my youth zombie. I, uh, I, I, I swallowed a quarter as well. Had to get taken to the hospital, but it was like no big deal, so. We took it, we went to the hospital like just in case. Sombrero is definitely new. Is that the, is that the 10 million gold one? I, I've never seen this in my life. That would go with our trinket shirt 100%. What the heck was that noise? It sounded like my microphone just like crackled, snap crackled and popped. Hopefully you didn't hear that. Or maybe you can't hear me anymore because my microphone, that was the sound of my microphone dying. I don't know. Hopefully not the case. Mouse ears, cat ears, tiara. A plum chapeau. That's de <laughs> that's definitely a new one. I love the de I love the freaking description on this one. Looks all right. It looks all right. Perfect quote. Say go cheese. That is a great Haley quote for that moment. <laughs> looks all right. What what a great salesman you are, Hat Mouse. Tropiclip. Any Pop Tropica fans in chat? Watermelon Band. The color scheme was inspired by the beloved Summer Melon. Some of these, some of these descriptions are, are a little wild. Looks like it belonged to a postman or policeman. Either way, it's still very soft and smells okay. I did, I wasn't concerned about the smell until you brought it up. Oh my god. The shape helps to keep sailors dry during storms. Fair enough. Mesh in the back to keep your head cool. Does that actually work? A fresh daisy, a fresh, fresh spring daisy to put in your hair. It's shaped like a little palm tree. Are you sure that's not lit? It's, that's literally like two pixels. That's like a green and a blue pixel. That's all that is. Am I insane? <laughs> little pink jewels glisten as you examine it. From Castle Village, lined with artisanal velvet. Celebrate the magical season. This one is a big amethyst encircled by gold. I think Abigail would like that one. In, in concept, maybe. Maybe not in execution. Whiskers included. Made from synthetic fibers. I would hope so. Jeez Louise. This one is very soft. A festively decorated hat made from woven straw. Made from smooth felt. I just don't want to run into another stomach bag situation in one of these descriptions. It looks really faded, but it used to be a vibrant blue. What happened to it? The middle is made of solid gold. We're all too familiar with this one. I feel the urge to go shopping, says Haley. A floppy old topper with a creased bill. Hold on, hold on. I need to adopt the appropriate accent for this one. It's a good old cap. It's a floppy old topper with a creased bill. Looks like it's been through a lot. That was more Australian than British, which was, I mean, what I was going for. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass myself any further. Let's go, let's go even further down here. Harken back to a simpler time with this prairie bonnet. Prairie king, anybody? This one's sure to turn heads. I bet. <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah. So is this one, though. You'll be, you'll be sure to get them grinning with this one. The band is studded with fake diamonds. Excuse me, can you not just call them fake diamonds? Just call them rhinestones like a normal person. Fresh and starchy. You don't say. You don't say. Well, thank you for that, uh... Those exotic descriptions there, Hat Mouse. I'll leave you to it. I would have questions if the Hat Mouse sold real hat, real mouse ears. Why do you think we don't see any other any other Hat Mice in the in the game? Only one. <laughs> it, 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 they went through a Hunger Games prior to the events of Stardew Valley. Hi, Miss Chloe. That's so cute. She calls me Miss Chloe. All those hats are stolen. It is a mouse, I guess, you know. I'm not expecting them to make the to make the 
uh, hats himself. At any rate, we do have four Omni Geodes here. Where the heck did we get these? They must have been a supply crate. I just, like, phased that one out of my memory for some reason. Let's go ahead and maybe get some, uh, maybe get some artifacts out of this. We do have a few, well, not artifacts, but more likely is, like, uh, we're, we're waiting on, which ones were they again? Aronite, Helvite, and Fairy Stone, all of which can theoretically be gotten from Omni Geodes, but it's such a large pool that the odds are scant, to say the least. Alright, off to bed with us. The Hat Mouse gets robbed by Chloe? I would never. Chloe would never. How dare you. <laughs> Friendly reminder that Stardew Valley takes place during a war with another country that we never get to see. It is true. Yeah, I mean, we're just uh, kind of living with our heads in the sand here, aren't we? Trying to maximize our profits, meanwhile, overseas in the Gatoro Empire. Yikes. Omni Geode shirt is meh. I've seen the Omni Geode shirt before, and I kind of agree. I'm not a huge fan of it. What... This is why Omni Geodes are the worst. Whatever, man. <laughs> I didn't want anything interesting anyway. Like, you can't even give me some kind of unique mineral. The only thing you gave me there was like a frozen tier, which I can go I can go find in like two minutes right now if I wanted to. Magma Geo Park Magma Geode Parka is where it's at. We could, we could be persuaded to find a Magma Geode Parka, indeed. We already have the Frozen Geode hoodie. Might as well complete the set, right? Why are you using espresso but not coffee? They stack, you know? Uh, are you saying that coffee and espresso stack in the same stack? Or are you, I'm, I'm confused about this statement. Either way, we got some tomatoes here. And tomatoes are regrowing plants as well. I always forget that for some reason. Um, anything else of interest here? Uh, these almost these look like they're almost done, but not quite there. Exclamation point Polly. How many tomatoes do we need? I know we need a lot of tomatoes for cooking for various recipes. It's one of the things that we were waiting on. But we'll need to actually we probably don't need to seed maker these ones, do we? I think they mean the buffs stack. Do the buffs stack from, uh, from like a speed buff from espresso and a speed buff from coffee? I don't think they do, but we can try it. Because I thought you could only have one, like, liquid based buff at a time and one food based buff. Let's see. Uh, tomatoes? 14 tomatoes. So we need to. We'll save up enough tomatoes in order to. Here, we'll do- we'll test- we'll test it out. Save up enough tomatoes in order to do polyculture, and then we'll invest in cooking. That way, polyculture's just off our minds. Let's see. Yeah, this has just replaced the triple shot espresso buff, as far as I can tell. Like, they don't, uh, they don't seem to stack to me. Yeah, you can stack a food and a drink buff, but you can't stack two drink buffs or two food buffs. I'm pretty sure that's the way that works. Kind of like real life. There you go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> don't want it. Don't want to have too much food or too much drink in real life. You got to fi find a good balance of both. Stardew Valley's teaching us all these lovely life, life lessons. No worries, there, gang. Uh, Gen three king. We all make mistakes from time to time. Usually use pepper poppers or crab cakes. Yeah, I don't know if we have access, like like ready access to a good speed buffing food or the ingredients for one. Something I could look into in order to maximize our speed buff potential, but triple shot espresso, I mean, it gets us there fast enough and it's and it only takes up one inventory slot, which is a pretty good uh, a pretty good thing to have. Looking for coconut, just plain and simple gets to the point. 
it's a pretty good uh, quality to have with our very limited inventory space. Pepper poppers are an issue because of the cheese. We could do uh, an emerald crystallarium farm in order to just like run up a bunch of cheese. That's the thing, right? Like we we could like invest in uh, in other things in the crystallariums, or like make other sections for of our crystallarium farm dedicated to other gems. But realistically, I don't think there's anything we're gonna need nearly as much as we need jades. And anything that we do need like that, like emeralds for cheese or rubies for spicy eels or whatever, if we do a single run of those with our crystallariums, with like our 124 crystallariums that we got, that should set us for a very long time, right? So if, if push comes to shove and we need to do that, we can just uh, swap out the jades for a single cycle and we'll be good. Lava eel pond for spicy eel. But you can also trade it at the desert for trade for it at the desert trader, so it's uh that's probably the better way to go, I think. For us anyway, because we only have access to the one fish pond, we gotta make the most of it. Don't you cook spicy eel from lava eels? No, it's just regular eels and uh and hot peppers. You might ask Argon, how would you know that? How could you possibly know that right off the top of your head? We cooked one earlier today. Not in real life, but I'd be willing to try it. Spicy eel honestly sounds like pretty good. I, although I've never tried eel, period, in real life. Has anyone tried eel out there? Is it is it like good? Does it have a notable taste or is it just like kind of fishy? I honestly don't know. Eels is like one of those animals that I never think of as something that you eat. But obviously, it is a delicacy in some circles. Yeah, we don't need very much cheese at all in order to just cook all our recipes. We should, we should be more than fine in that capacity. Eel is delicious. I like eel. Japanese eel preparations are the best. Try it on sushi. If I ever get the opportunity, I absolutely will. Go to sleep for the night. Yeah. Follow-up question to the eel question. Uh, electric eels, are those things that you eat as well? Or are they, like, uh, are they a different thing? I've, I've like, known of electric eels for, for, like, ever since I was a kid. They're, like, one of the first animals that I can recall, like, growing any kind of fascination with because like the idea of an animal being electric was just mind-boggling to me and still kind of is but I, it's not so much I, I like I realize now that my childhood imagination made it much cooler than it probably actually is like I was thinking like eels that like shoot lightning out of their mouth or something which is obviously not the case. I mean maybe it's the case. Maybe we have real dragons living in the ocean and I've just never known, but probably not, huh? Apparently you can, but it's not very good. Tastes like fish with a, with a bit of extra muddy aftertaste. Didn't like it personally. Hey, teach their own, fair enough. I, I imagine eel would be one of those things that's either you like it or you don't, but... Who am I to say? Like I said, I've never tried it. Are you an Electric Avenue man or an Electric Slide man? I don't know either. I Like, I know of the Electric Slide, and I know that there's the song, like, Rock down to Electric Avenue, and then you take it higher. I guess just by virtue of knowing that, I have to be an Electric Avenue man. Exclamation point Polly, by the way, how many how many radishes do we do we need? One of these has got to go to radish salad, and then the rest we, uh... We, we need 12 radishes. So this is the, technically the perfect amount of radishes. But... But... Wait, did we make a radish salad earlier, or did we, uh... We're we waiting on that still. We did make a radish salad. Okay. 
Yeah, we, we already made a radish salad, so we actually can just sell the 12 radishes. And then we just keep one for seed maker purposes, or should we make more? I mean, there's no real reason to, I guess. So let's just hold on to this gold tier radish. Like, like I can't think of a situation where we'd need more radish, right? Or is it, uh, do we need it for something else, like a red plate? Red plate, radish and cabbage, okay. So we actually need it for, for that as well. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do, maybe not all of these radishes, but we'll do at least like one cycle of these five seed makers and just have extras in case. Yeah, better safe than sorry, exactly. So we'll go ahead and stock those for right now. And we'll, re we'll replant these radishes in a second. Keep one radish, Haley might ask for it. You know what? That's a that's a good incentive if I've ever heard one. All right, 11 extra radishes on top of the eight that we have. So that's 19 radishes total. Should be more than enough. How many days are you playing until Prairie King? Since I think we have around we have around half an hour. We do have about half an hour until the end of the stream. You're not wrong. I don't know how many days we're going to fit into that. Days are kind of variable around here, depending on how much time I waste and how much time I actually spend doing like the things I'm supposed to do, like this trash run. But we'll see. We might we we should make it to the egg festival easily enough because that's the that's spring thirteenth, and then we got Haley's birthday. That might be the last day, depending on how things go here. Probably not. I mean, that's four days. We can probably do more than four days in half an hour, realistically. Although this trip to the beach every day for artifact spots does tack on a little bit extra time. Not so much extra time that I think it's going to be too relevant, but the, day the days do add up. My friend and I had a lot of had had many venison meals while visiting the grandparents. I've had venison a few times in the past. I don't remember it being very distinctly different from just, you know, like beef or anything like that. Any other kind of red meat. But I didn't mind it. It was still just good. I mean I like the taste of meat in general, so it's um Yeah. I guess a thumbs up from me. At least as far as taste goes, I can't I can't speak to the ethics of it. That's something you have to reconcile with yourself. Haley wants to go on a camping trip someday. I haven't been camping in real life in probably like far too long, realistically. I think camping is fun if you do it every so often. It's not something I'd want to make a huge habit of, but camping every now and again would be a great time. And I live in such a beautiful part of the country that I really have no excuse not to. Uh, Drea Danette, thank you for the $5 super chat. Finally caught up on the VODs and can catch a stream. Thanks for all the awesome content. Thank you for the support. I couldn't do this sort of stuff without, uh, without that. Glad you've enjoyed the VODs and, uh, welcome to the stream life. Enjoy your stay. Time for work now. Bye. All right. Have a good one there. Thanks for thanks for tuning in anyway. Peace out. Oops, I missed a missed a cask there. All right. And away we go. What the heck is even in this chest anymore? <laughs> Just a bunch of decorating stuff. We'll sort that out eventually. <laughs> Watch as it's still sitting there, like year thirteen. All right, go to sleep for the night. Yeah. And Eliani Olivo coming in with another 100 DOP super chat. I just skip all the VOD and stay here. It's better. You know what? I can't follow you for that. Hopefully it still makes, uh, makes sense to you what we're doing here. I like to think that we keep things relatively caught up and that you don't need to, don't need to watch every single VOD in order to understand what's going on, obviously. Whatever works best for you. You still have Caroline's necklace? You know what? Maybe it's time to remedy that situation. 
That's a good shout out. This ornate necklace, a fancy necklace found in the water outside the bathhouse. It's still, it's still wet after all this time. Man, these chests are like actual literal time capsules, but like not time capsules, like the ones that you bury when you're five years old with your dad and then forget about forever. But time capsules that like actually like freeze things in time. Did anyone, has anyone watching ever done a time capsule? I'm pretty sure I have buried time capsules in the past, but then I've always like moved away. So they're just like, they're just there. I don't even remember where they are anymore if I wanted to go looking for one. Ooh, pumpkin time. You can always tell when those are ripe. Star fruit as well. This is a good day for, for harvesting. Can I get an exclamation point poly so I know what the heck I'm even doing here? Another strawberry harvest as well and a bean harvest. We take these. Strawberries. I know I need more than that. Obviously. Need 12 pumpkins? June, June, you just have this committed to memory. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, 12 pumpkins, you say. I mean, we're we're there already, but I feel like it might be a good idea to, idea to reinvest in some pumpkin infrastructure. If only for Krobus. And what else was there? Starfruit? And 13 star fruit, you tell me. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, 13 star fruit. So we need to definitely reinvest in our star fruit stocks here. Do that. What year are we in? Exclamation point year. Should be all caught up on that. I don't know if I need to necessarily. Uh, seed maker all these pumpkins, but I feel like I'd rather have extra pumpkin seeds than than not, right? Let's just send it. 15 star fruit seeds is more than enough, obviously. Mixed seeds are a bit of a slap in the face, but we'll take it. Because we don't really have much of a choice. So we'll have way more than enough pumpkin seeds. We have more than enough star fruit seeds. We should be fine here. We might, we might not even have enough room in the greenhouse to plant all this stuff. Because, I mean, some of you are probably yelling, just get rid of the hops, get rid of the hops. I would never, I would never besmirch our beloved hops like that. Actually, we should have enough to plant just about everything. Maybe not all 20 pumpkin seeds, but... Still a decent amount of pumpkins, for sure. Just barely shy. That's okay. There we go. Four more green beans for the pile. Throw the pumpkin seeds in there for now. And we're chilling. How many green beans was it again? It was, uh, 14 green beans, 14 strawberries. All right, so we still still waiting. Pumpkins for cooking if you're not done with that. Yeah, we need pumpkin pie and pumpkin soup. That's a good shout out as well. I don't think we have most of the other ingredients for those, but uh, we will need them eventually. Pumpkin pie, we need milk obviously, and pumpkin soup I think is the same thing, yeah. But yeah, having those extra pumpkins on hand will be nice. Welcome back, Zombo. Popping in and out of the stream today, I can, I can respect it. Oh, you're having internet issues. Fair enough. I've been there. But ever since I upgraded to my uh, my Ethernet connection from the wireless connection that I had before I started streaming, it's uh, it's been uh, so much better. I never realized how bad I had it until I got this wired connection. Took a little bit of doing to actually set it up in my place because my my apartment is not necessarily designed for it. But once I had it going, oh baby. Oh, baby. Stop that yuck. Why don't you stop throwing away precious gold bars, dude? What, not good enough for your statue? I'll put it to good use. Don't you worry. I see you with the dad joke there, Elaine. <laughs> and I appreciate it. I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> Oh man, you love it. Q 
keep on riding here. So we got to go to the quarry. We got to go to Caroline's and Abigail's. We still haven't decided who we want to give this to, the ornate necklace. Let me, let me throw up a quick poll. Who should we give the necklace back to? Caroline or Abigail? Give it to the wizard. Uh, I d didn't know that that was an option. If it, if it is an option, I'm willing to try it out, but we'll, we'll throw it in the poll. You know what? If that's a secret third option, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to find out. But I, I feel like you might all just be trolling me, because obviously there's a there's the whole theory behind Abigail being the wizard's daughter, or even Caroline being the wizard's daughter, depending on who you ask. We'll see, though. What happens when you give it to the wizard? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't know that it was even an option. Alright, to the quarry with us while we let that pull run. Have we? Have you ever trolled me? Hmm. <laughs> Flashback, it does that little wavy thing where it goes, like, wavy lines across the screen and goes through a long uh, mo series, series of montages of me being trolled by chat. Set to some goofy mu music, like per perhaps the Pirate Cove theme from Stardew Valley. Make it happen, editors. I don't have any editors. I'm just talking to myself at this point. <laughs> All right. A, so a whopping 54% of people want me to give this necklace to the wizard. I'm, I'm about to be real, real mad if we get over there and he's like, what the heck am I supposed to do with this? Or it's just even worse if it's not even an option to give it to him. But I'm happy to, I'm happy to indulge. Let's see here. Just, just so we have a good reference in case we can't give it to the wizard, Abigail was next up with 32%, followed by Caroline with 15%. So we'll fall back on Abby if we have if we have to if we have to. Alright. Away we go. It'll be very interesting to me if this actually does work, but I have my doubts for sure. I voted for the wizard because I just want to see what happens. I think that's what the camp that most people are probably in. I, I wouldn't have even added it to the options for the poll if, uh, if, if it weren't for, like, the fact that so many people were saying it. Like, I saw, like, two or three different people say give it to the wizard, which makes me think that there might actually be something to this instead of it just being one person trolling. What do you got for me, buddy? I mean, it's a, it's an option here. Wrong per wrong person. Maybe if I click a few hundred times. Well, it was worth a try. <laughs> it was multiple. It was a concerted effort of people trolling. Rip. I mean, you got me at the end of the day. What can I say? What can I say? You know what? Just for that one? I can't toss it? Oh, I could, to oh, I could toss it. I could toss it. <laughs> I'd feel too bad. I was going to throw it in the freaking water. Just send it back where it, from whence it came. All right, well, let's go give it to Abigail, I guess. Chat seeks to mislead you. Maybe I could put it in the in the luau soup. A secret interaction no one's ever heard of before. Not likely. Wrong person. There's Caroline right there, but we uh, we just run by with it over our heads. She might get a little. She might be a little confused. All right, Abigail's probably not even here realistically. Let's go say hi to David really quick though. 
How's it going there, buddy? David the guinea pig? What she got on her computer? I'm not allowed to, to peep. 11 solo sonatas for the wooden flute. It's full of clothes. Wait, there's a sword hidden under the clothes. Abigail's a YouTube member? Spirit board. Because Ouija board's probably copyrighted, huh? Abigail, where are you at? Where are you at, girl? She's not here. Where does she hang out on a Thursday at 4 p.m. in spring? Genuine, genuinely thought that something would happen, like when you try to give the, the shorts back to Lewis, or when you give the shorts to Lewis? I guess there's just no uh, no actual confirmation. Oh, here she is. Okay. Abby, I got something for you. That necklace! Where'd you find it? My face when? Well, thanks for bringing it to me, Chloe. My mom will never know. Except for the fact that I literally ran past her on my way to see you with it over my head. I gave her a big, slow wink. Hey, Haley. I cooked dinner last night. It actually turned out okay. Okay. What do you think that Haley cooked? What do you think she made? I would guess she probably made... She wouldn't make fruit salad for dinner. What would she have made out of, out of this this long list? Hmm. What's the most Haley food here? Fruit salad is, I mean, obviously fruit salad and pink cake, but those are not dinner foods. She probably would have made, if I had to guess, you know what? She she might be. Oh no, I don't think she'd go escargot. It does. It is fancy, but I don't. I can't see her eating snails. Cactus fruit tacos, pink cake, just cheese. <laughs> you know what? If I know anything about Haley, she probably just made like toast. Toast with maybe some like marmalade on it. I don't know. <laughs> some something easy that you can't mess up too bad. Breakfast for dinner. I'm here for it. I haven't had breakfast for dinner in a very long time, honestly. There is something just like cool about having pancakes or eggs or what some other normal uh, breakfast food at like 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. whenever you have dinner. Daffodil sandwich, I mean. What are you, Twilight Sparkle in here? I'm gonna have a daffodil and daisy sandwich. That's a throwback to something that most people probably don't even have never even seen in my chat, but. Alright, uh, off to bed with us, I think. I, how do we get to 5.50 p.m. just, like, doing random nonsense here? Oh, we ran to the wizard. We, okay, yeah, so that, that makes a lot of sense, actually. All right, off to bed. Mayo sandwich. Mayonnaise sandwiches. <laughs> I don't think she takes after me in that regard. She's got more sophisticated tastes than that. Something with pickles, maybe. A pickle and mayonnaise sandwich, maybe? Mm. Alright, Egg Festival coming up. Coming in hot. As you all know, we're going to go for the world record again. World record at the Egg Festival. Coming in very soon. 19 eggs. 18 or 19 eggs. I think we can do it. You used to be a Pegasus or so. I have not heard the term Pegasister in a very long time. I always just hear like Brony, whether you're like a, uh, whether you're, whether you're male or female. But glad to know that that term still sees some use. But can you name the episode that that reference was from? I can, but can you? I can, and I don't. I don't know if I'm proud of it or not. But it was an. I mean, watching that show was a was an inter, integral part of my life for quite a while. It helped me through some stuff, so I'll never besmirch it. We're going to get uh, the scythe for that amaranth. I could call for exclamation point, Polly. But June, how much how much amaranth do I need? I could just ask you. <laughs> I've learned this now. If you're still here, anyway. Alright. Do 
You need 14 Amaranth. So we need to we need to do another cycle of Amaranth here then. Thank you, thank you. We all know that June is right, but we'll just we'll we'll get some poly in here just to confirm. 14 Amaranth, bang on. Hey there, uh Eidolonic Games. Welcome to the stream. It's Terra, but name change. Welcome. Happy to see you here. We all need a good name change every now and again, except for me. I've had Argon Matrix for literally, like, over 12 years at this point. Alright, 16 Amaranth. More than enough here. Obviously, we're not going to have enough to, to like, plant. Or enough spaces to plant at all, but we'll just have to do a couple extra cycles, I suppose. We could put some in, like, garden pots or something, but I'm not about that life. I'm patient enough. We've made it to year 6 at this point. I think we've proven that we can wait a few days for some Amaranth to grow. Alright. I always look up at this at like the calendar here and see like if it's like Friday or Sunday. And I'm always I always have that itch to go see the traveling cart, but it's no longer uh it's no longer part of our repertoire. I'm gonna forget what that lady looks like. Man, she's been so integral, but... Oh well, we'll always remember the traveling cart fondly. And we'll get to go back for a reunion tour in year 13 anyway, so... Looking forward to that. How's it been with the new stream and work schedule? It's going pretty well, honestly. Streams are stable, work schedule is pretty nice. It has been a bit of a paradigm shift that worked because uh, in order to like be, in order to st in order to have fewer hours at work, like I wanted to, I was not uh, I'm not able to be assistant manager at that store anymore because assistant manager would have to be full time, which is 40 hours, which I didn't want. So I've uh, I've stepped down from that position. Makes for a bit of a change, but it's I think it was for the best move for me. So. I'm much happier now than I that that I have uh, more freedom in that regard, I suppose. So thank you all for enabling that, or being being part of what enables that anyway. What would your dream job be, besides streaming, if that's a potential answer? I mean, you, you caught me red-handed. I was about to just say, like, look what I'm doing right now. If I could turn this into, like, a full-time career, that would be literally the dream. But beyond that, I mean... Honestly, anything, like, math-related... I could see myself doing pretty well. I mean, I do. I just enjoy math. If it was something... I don't know. If, I don't know what specific job it would be, but any kind of field where I could just do math and like work with spreadsheets and stuff all day, without having to interface with any other people for the most part, because I find interfacing with actual human beings kind of annoying a lot of the time and just like stressful and tiring. <laughs> that would be the dream for sure. But there are many jobs that I could realistically see myself doing. Retail is not one that I would want to make a career out of, for sure. I've, le I've learned that long and hard at this point. Alright. Oh, frick. This chest... Uh, Alright. This chest is actually, like, literally full. Let's go ahead and sort through some of this stuff here. So, we don't really need these tree seeds anymore. 786 pine cones? Are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here. We don't need the sweet peas. The mushrooms we'll hold on to, I think. Hazelnuts, I mean, might not be the worst idea to hold on to for, like, roasted hazelnuts for whatever reason, but... Realistically, we don't need to cook those anymore. I think that's fine. And what if I just... can sell this, sell this, sell all these. Do we just sell all of it? This is a lot of seeds to sell. Keep the flowers for Sandy. Rip. I mean, I do have some some flowers, some croci. I, I have some uh, some crocuses hanging out here. This is a lot of a lot of seeds to just like cost. I feel like I'd rather have tree seeds in case I want to grow more trees for some reason. 
So we'll just leave him in there for right now with the tree fertilizer. Hey, Dita, thank you for joining the YouTube members. Welcome, welcome to the Electron tier. Enjoy your stay, enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your soar. Be careful where you swing it. Maybe get rid of two stacks of sap? Never. I'm a sap hoarder. I won't, I, I won't eat it most of the time, but... I don't want I don't want to just like you know send it if it comes to that point where this chest is just like literally full of sap we can like sell a stack or two for sure but hey there Andrew very late no worries we are closing out the stream pretty soon here we've got just enough time for the uh, egg festival and then we'll probably do a little prayer king 10 things off so maybe you're just in the right just in the nick of time if you depending on what you show up to the stream for all right go to sleep for the night yeah Cool thousand gold, not that it matters anymore. Alright. Egg Festival, it's time. And then we can start off tomorrow's stream with Haley's birthday. It's going to be a beautiful thing. We have this pink cake all ready to go for that. Don't ask where it came from. No one needs to know, okay? We'll just pretend that we baked it the day of. It's basically the same thing. It's it's not it's literally not any different. No one tell Haley, okay? <laughs> oh shoot, she might have over overheard already. She just says, I've got nothing to say to you. We might have already peeved her off before we even know <laughs> before before we even talk to her about it. But it's okay. Haley bot and Haley in the frugal in Frugal Farm are two distinct individuals. They are, they are separate timelines. Let's go to the greenhouse real quick. We are going to have to do a late night garbage run today because the egg festival is being set up in town, obviously. Alright. Tomatoes? I think... How many tomatoes did we need? It was more than ten. Fairly certain of that. But the exact amount is unbeknownst to me. I like these little things. These these look like they're going to grow up into something like devastating, but I think they're just like artichokes, right? Kind of looking like, you know, feed me see more. 14 tomatoes plus more for cooking. Okay, so we, we still got a while to go in tomatoes yet. Thank you, June. And while we wait for the uh, egg festival to to open up, let's just run around, do a little supply crate hunting. Paid off already. Some banana pudding. How you doing down here, little dwarf rare crow? Hope you're not too lonely. He's watching over the the old site of the lucky bean. For those who who have been around for that long, never forget the lucky coffee bean. Quick little peruse. We can go check out our mushroom tree farms. Coming in strong. Still hanging in there after uh, after the long winter. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna, you know, ignore that for right now. It's getting a little out of hand, but let's just see how out of hand we can let it get before it starts to consume our lives. The egg festival has begun in town square. Let's go. Alright. Put all this away. I'm ready. You know, we're taking off the trash hat. We'll take we'll put it back on for the hunt, but we need to be a little more aerodynamic, I think, for 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 maximum speed in uh in the egg hunt here. I think it's crucial, mission critical. Which I don't know. Maybe you there could you you could argue that the trash hat actually makes us more aerodynamic because like the hair is gonna increase wind drag and air resistance and all that stuff, but I think uh, I think this is at least worth trying out, right? There we go. Got that all out of the way. Put that out of here. And let's go back to. Well, I mean, we just go straight to town from here, actually. B E A, beautiful. 
What the heck is this, by the way? Is th this is, looks like a big bowl of, you know, that kind of like Jello salad that you can get, or that sometimes people make. It's some. It's it would make the most sense, right? It's something that people bring to a potluck, but also it would have to be egg based in some way, I would imagine, being at the egg festival. Because look, you got like you got like your sunny side up eggs here, eggs. This this looks like a shrimp cocktail though. So who really knows? You're gonna feed me some eggs. I'm gonna. If you're gonna feed me eggs, I'm gonna need some hot sauce, kid. I'm not feeding you anything, Pam. You can get your own eggs. You that's that's some weird energy right there. Ew, ew, ew. Is it the jello salad? I like the I like the little cube jello salad. This is this is straight up a piece of ham. Arnie, what have you done to the pigs? Yikes. I'm just, I'm, this, these look like vinegar, or potentially just like wine. If I could just yoink one of those bottles of vinegar, we wouldn't have had to pay so much money, but it is what it is. Haley, can you be my cheerleader? I still need to get my photo taken at the bunny stand. Does my hair look okay? If only there was an actual event where we could do that. We already, we already had our fun with this, but line it up one more time for the kids. For the little, little Chloe fans at home. Do a little, a little fine adjustment. There we go. That's about, that's about as best we're gonna get. Tis a Scotch egg, egg glazed ham. So many egg related dishes that I don't even know about. Hens lay the eggs, and roosters play an important role too. They protect the hens and prevent them from fighting with each other. That means happier hens and better eggs. You seem to know a lot about eggs, Marnie. You, you wanna. Maybe next year, you know, or this year even, at the Feast of the Winter Star, uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can put some of that egg knowledge to good use. I know someone who would really appreciate it. I know someone who would really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, do you think everyone's ready for the egg hunt? Yeah, let's go. Haley Bot knows we're gonna win. She says, "Don't worry, don't worry, be happy." It's not enough to win though. We need the world record. Eighteen eggs are bust. One of these days, I will actually look up like a world record route so that I know what the heck I'm even doing. But for right now, we just we just send it. I know I've seen like top tier players take this route. Something similar to this. I don't know if this one feels like it might be a little too far out of the way. But we got it. We got it all the same. Uh, I feel like there's like eggs hidden somewhere here that I'm not noticing. We got that one. Yoink that. I also just need like better better movement tech, I think. Like I don't think I need to get as close to these eggs as I actually feel like I do. You can just kind of like sideswipe them a lot of time. Sideswipe. Side oh gosh. All right. We just ruined our chances for like forever. You like that? This is a bit of a roundabout path, but I saw I saw a path. I'm gonna take it. Is that an egg? No, that's freaking Jass. What the heck? She had. Oh, she trolled me. That's the other reason we're gonna lose this now. Thirteen eggs. I'll take it. Feels like there should be one there. That that definitely looked like an egg, Jazz. Did you see that? Do you see how <laughs> she knows that she's she is dressed like a freaking egg? Just the, the pastel colors. She really got me with that one. Oh well, we still win anyway. I'm pretty sure. Chloe wins. Was there ever any doubt? The sideswipe almost worked. We could have gotten up to like maybe 14 eggs if the side swipe had paid off, but all right. Don my chapeau, and off we go to get our uh, our trash run for the day. This is the last trash run for today, but next stream on Monday's stream after the weekend, we will be, well, it's do or die to see whether or not we get the cactus fruit before 4,000 trash cans. Otherwise, you all know what's up at this point. But maybe we could just mitigate that concern entirely by getting it right now. Come on. Come on. I'm just beginning to think that it's like a mirage and it doesn't even exist. Is this your sixth win? 
I think so. I think we've won every single year at the Egg Festival. That is correct. What's up, Luke? Welcome to the stream. Last shot. Last shot. Jojo, what do you got for me? Nothing. Nothing freaking doing. More trash. White egg, brown egg, dinosaur egg, ostrich egg, and jazz egg. Or jazz egg. I gotta get more used to saying jazz, because I, I have come around to the fact that it's probably pronounced jazz, since her name is likely Jasmine. Which makes the most sense. But I need to rewire my brain for it to take full effect. Alright, sell that. Don't need the geode in our life. Gonna put the copper ore away. And we got a little bit of time left for some Prairie King action. Let's get it. Petition, petition for Chloe egg emote. We do need to think of some egg emote for sure for uh, next year. For the Feast of the Winter Star coming up in, in year six here. I think that is a wise call. But for right now, let's not even focus on that. Let's not think about it. Let's just think about... Don't, don't even worry about, like, the price of perfection in general. It exists separate right now from the Prairie King. The Prairie King is its own endeavor. You need to empty your mind of all else. Only then can true enlightenment be achieved. And also Fector's Challenge. Give me the movement speed upgrade. I'll take it. The temporary one at the very least. See, coffee is like so abundant that you don't ever need to actually buy movement speed upgrades. It's just, you know, it's it's baked into the game. You'll be moving fast enough with that coffee as it is. And little known fact, the more coffee and triple shot espresso you drink in your Stardew Valley file, the more likely it is to show up in Journey of the Prairie King. It's a true fact. Don't look it up. You don't need to. You can trust me. Pretty good start to our gold situation in this first level, at least, though. I'll take it. Eight gold, more than halfway to our first damage upgrade, which will be integral, as we all know. Good luck in Prayer King. Thank you, Shippo. I appreciate I appreciate that. Vector's challenge speedrun. Look, the game's hard enough without having to worry about a speedrun element to it. Plus, like, how do you even speedrun Prairie King, really? You just have to, like, buy the upgrades fast and move between levels fast, because each level is just on its own timer. There's really no way to speed it up except by not dying. Because every time you die, I think it adds to the timer, so a speedrun of Prairie King would just naturally be a Fector's Challenge run anyway, if it wanted to contend with any kind of world record, I imagine. Although I don't know what the world record for Prairie King is, or such a thing is even tracked, to be real with you. Alright, I guess all our gold luck was just in the first level, because it's it's not shaping up so hotly in uh, in this one. That would be a nice upgrade or power-up to get, but I'm not going to sweat it, because it's a little out of the way. Alright, that gold is non-negotiable, though. I swear, by the way, I think it's better to prioritize enemies that are coming at you from an upward angle, from like the top of, top part of the screen, as opposed to bottom. I think the hitboxes work out differently depending on which direction. So maybe it's better to... Maybe it's better to like hang out near the top of the screen. So that you have a little more reaction time for enemies. I don't know if that's just like anecdotal evidence and it's there's nothing actually to that, or if it's some, there's really something there. Alright, so fire rate upgrade, we'll take it. But we really need to get up to 15 gold before World 2 by the next shop. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of a tight spot to begin with. Can't last more than two minutes in Prairie King. Hey, practice makes perfect. If you're not inclined to practice it, I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to be good at Prairie King. You can enjoy Stardew for many other aspects, obviously. But if you want to get good at Prairie King, you're going to have to put in the hours. And I do probably mean hours. To get to get good at a game like this, it's going to take a while. Which is probably why so many people kind of detest Prairie King. Just because it is like the same thing over and over for, for many hours. And it can be very demotivating to, to lose.
but I've just uh, sunk so much time into games like this that it's not there's there's no more barrier to entry for me most of the time. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very difficult game, as you can very as you can already clearly see. And probably have experienced yourself if you played the game at all. Alright, that coffee is not mission critical, so we're just gonna go ahead and let it ride. That gold could very well be mission critical, though, so let's try and make it work, alright? A little a little five piece of gold could go a long way here. Could be very nice. The the one piece, you know what, we'll take it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Send it, send it. Alright. We need 10 gold out of this level if we want to have a fighting chance in World 2. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of an uphill climb. However, even if, like, 10 gold is a pretty high barrier to clear, although we're off to a good start already. I, hold, holy crap, get me out of here, get me that, all right. We made it work, even though if, if it wasn't the most ideal situation. Okay, ooh, that was, that was, that was risky. There, there was no need for me to go out when I did exactly right there. I was just so worried that the Sheriff Star would disappear, but we made it work. We made it work. I got that Sheriff Star in reserve there. I can't forget that either. That could be a lifesaver. In fact, it will be. I can almost guarantee it if we end up in a rough situation here. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. You gotta you gotta risk it sometimes and get close to the those entrances and exits. Not looking great for our, our gold chances to get up to 15 by the end of this level. I'm telling you that right now. But... What the heck? <laughs> I, th I, I thought I was... I'll tell you exactly what happened. I, was, I thought in my brain I was lined up, so I was already just heading up there like that. But I was not lined up, and I just walked into the fence and died like a freaking numbskull. Oh, well. I'll just finish the level just because just cause I'm mad. <laughs> Just don't give me the five coin. Don't give me enough money at the very end here that it would have actually mattered, okay? That's all I ask. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> Man, not the best run, but you know what? We'll. You got to get the bad ones out of the way to make room for the good ones. That's my philosophy. All right, but that's going to be it for uh, for this stream. We made it all the way to Haley's freaking birthday here. We did a lot of, like, maintenance stuff. Started on our polyculture achievement. Got our cooking recipes sorted out. I think we're uh, in good shape. And we'll continue with all, this fun, all these fun little grinds after the weekend. I hope to see you all here again on Monday at uh, 6 p.m. Well, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Whatever time that may be in your time zone. If you did enjoy this stream, please leave a like down below. I greatly appreciate it. It does help support the channel. And uh, subscribe if you want to stay no notified of when I will go live next. Hope you all have an awesome weekend. I will uh, see you next time, hopefully. Yeah. Take care, everybody. I'm going to send you off with the usual fan art compilation. Let me get that set up for you. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and have a great night. Bye.